you guys are here! Holy shit! Look, it's Deep State! The devs! Uh, <laughs> hold, hold on! <gasps> what?! They're not fucking around. Damn. Is it me or is the music super loud? Hold on. There are six items hidden at the scene. Start collecting them by touching the trash bin. Oh, it's the words and... Okay, we're right in there, guys. Gotta focus. If you need a hint, I can give you a hint. Try it now. Power car battery. Okay. Tap on the item name and hold to see the item. Oh. Okay. Okay. Find the three remaining items. Oh, there's the body. Collect. Torn drawing. What? This one? Paper towels. I did it. Whew, okay. Stress. <laughs> we gotta focus. <coughs> Thors is right in the game. Oh, wow. That's quite the high score. Where's your badge? Put it somewhere everyone can see. The police are kind of jumpy today. Oh, shit. Whoa, there's character customization. <coughs> oh, I like the hat. Oh, this is pretty cool. Yep, that's us. I'm a lady. Oh my god, I'm excited. I'm excited! Get winter? Yeah, sure. Cheer up, rookie. It's a homicide, not a funeral. Victim's Karen Cooper. Wait, THE Karen Cooper? District Attorney? Yep. Pillar of Justice herself. Who found the body? Husband, Mark Cooper. Is the... Um... Is the sound okay? Because I put it on minus 30. It's normally minus 10. But it sounds so loud to me. Is this the good balance? Shadow of Colossus was great. It was really great. Beat it in five and a half hours. Sounds good? Okay. Well, let me know if at some point it's too soft. And then I'll turn it up a bit. Uh, son Davey was in the house too, but he was hiding in the room upstairs. Excited, rookie? Never thought you'd get to meet the DA at her own house? Ooh. That's kind of dark. Seeing a disfigured body in a basement is your idea of meeting people. <laughs> exactly. It's just sad. As I said, cheer up, rookie. I look so cool, by the way. Oh, Catelio, I forgot. I still have my uh, Shadow of Colossus notice on. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you, Catelio. Here's your mission list. Click on mission to start. This. Okay, so there's a timer, but it just tells me how much money I make. <laughs> this is what FBI agents do. Okay. Got $18 for that. Is that how FBI agents get paid? You're a crappy artist, rookie. I'm sorry, but someone has to tell you the truth. What? Garrett! I feel betrayed. I don't like you anymore. It's not mine. Davy drew this. What do you think? He's a crappy artist, too. <laughs> He's only nine, so there's hope. <laughs> oh my god, what a dick. No, I mean, the family on the drawing. Does it look strange to you? Should it? I didn't- I didn't look at it. <coughs> oh, sorry guys. The dad and the kid are together, while the mom's sort of apart. Karen Cooper divided her time between her criminals and her family. Guess who got more?
No wonder the kid bonded with the dad. I bet they saw each other more often than they saw Karen. Maybe. This is the analysis mission. So missions take time. Click on mission to start. So, okay. So we're waiting on results, but we can skip it. I guess it's good. It gives me a little moment to breathe and talk to you guys. Maybe the in-app purchases are for buying more dollars? Not sure. Time is money. <laughs> it looks very good so far. I'm not a fan of timers, but... Oh, Leinen! Hey! Thank you! Eleven! Woo! Almost a year! Almost got your silver! Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I feel bad though, the devs are here. IAP speed things up, boost your searches in the scene. IAP? What's that? Do you like reading, Rookie? Yeah, I do, when I'm not sleepy. It's nothing like a good autopsy report with your afternoon coffee. Cause of death, blood trauma to the head. Also, the victim's femur shattered like it was made of glass. Both blows were delivered with that, what the coroner calls supernatural strength. Oh, both are made from below. It's a dwarf! <laughs> Perhaps she was already on the floor when- I think I, I'm gonna take like a little bit of a scully approach. Hey, big boss. Oh, hello, baby. Could have been. In-app purchases. Oh, I see. Okay. What about the murder weapon? Wasn't big, despite all the damage. Isn't it super late for you guys, devs? Wasn't it like... Because I thought Brandon said it was like 3am or something. I feel bad now. I'm sorry, I'm in a different time zone. Um, of course, missing from the crime scene. Of course. Okay. Talk to Davy, talk to Mr. Cooper. Um Kit was upstairs. Agents, thank God you're here. It's been a nightmare. Sorry for your loss. Thank you. It's just so terrible. I'll be gone for a couple hours. There's a tail. I'm I'm petting Big Boss's tail. Where were you? No, oh, Big Boss, no. That's the microphone. No. Where were you, big boss? He's silent. Got hair everywhere. There it is. I had a meeting with the lawyer this morning, so I went. How'd you find her? When I got home, I saw the back door had been smashed in, so I ran upstairs. Smashed in? Davy was hiding under his bed. I screamed, where's mommy? She was in the basement. That's when he called? As soon as I could think. Will we catch those who did it? We will, you have my word. I look so cool. Even if it's you, pal. Just kidding. God, this dude has an attitude. Okay, we can inspect the backyard now. Can we also go back to this one, I wonder? <clears throat> Collect six objects. Combo booster, double points. Combo freeze. Use boosters in crime scenes to score higher. Wait, I can do all of them? Find six objects. A kite! Glass shards. Coffee cup. Burger. Gotta have to hurry though. Ten seconds. Knife. Pull up bar. What's that look like? Uh, there? Damn. I did it. 
I got a star. I'm getting paid. $42. Invite friends. That's cool. Oh, I'm third. Oh, I did well. <coughs> I did better than Garrett. <coughs> Suck a dick, Garrett. Look at the glass shards. Any thoughts? Looks from the inside. Yeah. Hmm. If you ever need to stage a robbery, make sure you never do the same mistakes. It makes your story look stupid. <clears throat> I wonder why the glass was hit from the inside. Or you just love staging robberies. It's one of the two. We don't have solid proof for either yet. Okay, let's talk to the sun. Hello, Davy. My name is Gap Winter. This is Agent Dale. Is, is it okay if I ask you a few questions? Ooh, who grabbed him? Holy shit. Is he being abused? Sorry about your mom. Did you see what happened to her? Kid's in shock. Can't honestly think he'll talk to you. Did you see who hurt your mom? Very brave boy. You don't have to help us if you don't want to. This is your way of making witness talk by encouraging them not to? It was a monster. What kind of monster? What did it look like? I've seen your drawing. You like to draw, don't you? Can you draw the monster? Okay. Thank you, Davy. We'll get some crayons. Ooh, what the fuck? This is our suspect, huh? Running against the FBI most wanted list. Lots of goblins in there. No, none of them blue. Oh my god. Gary, please. A uh, child's mind often interprets traumatic events in peculiar ways, you know. It's a start. An orc did it. <laughs> if we were in a movie, this would be when you come up to me and say, I have a theory, chief. We're not in a movie. We're in a hidden object game. This shit's real. You're not chief, you're just my partner. Is this your way, way of saying you don't have a theory? It's a murder. Whoever did this wasn't after her jewelry. They were after Karen herself. Details. The glass shards were outside, not inside. Whoever smashed the door had already been in the house. Bingo. Anything else? The bruises? Bruises on his arms. The kid... The kind you get when someone twice your size twists them really hard. Spoken, spoken from experience, too. Oh no. Were you a bullet in the academy? Shut up, will you? This is pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, puppy. <laughs> oh, Michelle, did I miss that resub? It's because the game is so loud. Wait, let me, um... Let me fix that. Um, I should be able to put this up. And then the game should be the same. So maybe now the notifications are louder. Hmm. Still sounds like it's... Oh, you guys can hardly hear it now. Hey, Cody! How about... That better? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Ooh, Big Boss. Now I'm getting really warm. I have Big Boss on my lap and a hot water bottle and the heater is on. Okay, search Davy's room. What's this plus for? Oh, so that's the in-app purchase? I see. We don't need boosters. Divorce papers? Ooh. Are they in here? Toy monster. Oh, there's the, the thing that he drew. Baseball cap. Uh, globe. Wizard hat. Oh, it's from Harry Potter. Shield. This one? No. Was it? Where is it? Oh, there. Okay. I feel a little bit rushed with that timer. 
I guess that's the flash game kind of aspect of it. Still fourth? This must be the monster. It's just a toy. What are you, five? You thought we'd find an actual monster under the kid's bed? No. Dave, you could have seen the actual killer. He just chose to describe them as a monster. Anyway, this is much more interesting. There are Cooper here. These are Cooper's divorce papers. It appears Mark's, Mark was going to lose custody and everything else. Never divorce a DA if you're stupid enough to marry one. Ha <laughs> ha. So Mark Cooper beats his son. Karen files for divorce and makes sure Mark doesn't get a penny. Days later, Car Karen is found dead in the basement with fake signs of a break-in. Mark gets all her money and Davy, it's a motive. If you're, di if you're divorcing a DA, make sure you have an alibi for every, every hour you spend outside the house. Which, as it happens, Mark Cooper has. He claims he was at his lawyer lawyer's. Uh, the page with the lawyer's contact info is missing, however. Do you see it anywhere? Um. <laughs> like the, I like it, but I'll do it later. <laughs> Find the missing page. Paper ball. Sparrow. Nasal drops. Where the fuck? Shark. Speakers. Jade plant. Ooh, that was a good one. I did well. Hey, Savvy! Thank you! Michelle, I missed that one, didn't I? Oh, I didn't miss Lanin's one, did I? Sorry, I'm still waking up too. Oh, I got something. <gasps> First locker full of bonuses. Ooh. Seven day coffee income. Great. <laughs> What's that for? Federal agent Garen Dale speaking. Oh my, is this about Karen Cooper? Just saw it on news. Horrible. Yes, we're calling to confirm that her husband, Mark Cooper, was with you at the time of the murder. Did he say you was? Why, wasn't he? You were supposed to have a meeting, but I had to cancel. He drove all the way here for nothing. So, what is a guy with no alibi doing when his wife get, is getting her head smashed back home? I bet he's holding the murder weapon. Mr. Wyndham, I know you're bound by attorney-client privilege, but we already know that Mark Cooper was facing a disastrous divorce and he beat his son. What? No, you've got it all backwards. What do you mean? Don't tell me she fooled you too. Karen was a pillar of justice in public's eye, but at home she was a real monster. <gasps> Ooh. Took Mark years to gather the courage to file a divorce. So it was Mark who in initiated the divorce. Of course, though it went even worse than we feared, Karen was a powerful woman. If you're married to a DA, well, just kill yourself on your wedding night. There's no easy way out. <laughs> Damn, dude. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Wyndham. We'll be in touch. Okay. Seems like Mark Cooper isn't such a bastard after all. Seems like you're easily charmed, Ricky. Mark Cooper wants to save his son from a psycho wife, so he files a divorce and full, f and full custody. He gets a divorce but loses the custody, and then the psycho wife conveniently gets her brains knocked out. Not a bastard, huh? Don't think he is. Mark's trying to save Davy. He couldn't just let Karen have the kids after all she'd done to him. Davy, what are you doing here? Did you just hear what we were talking about? That's not yours, give it back. The toy? It's not yours, give it back. It's turning evil. Davy, no, stop. What the hell just happened? Nine year old just took a piece of evidence from you. By force, anticlimactic, isn't it? We need to find him. Let's split. Go look upstairs. I'll check the basement. Davy, are you there? Click the... Can't see a thing. Must be a switch around here. Damn, it was just working an hour ago. Ooh, don't die. Things are getting spooky! Oh! Jesus. Davy, is that you? Come out. That's not Davy. Am I supposed to find Ooh, find him? Davy, where are you? Oh, oh, oh! God damn it, Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, 
cool. Flashlight. Holy fuck, what are we gonna do? Oh my god, he's sitting... Why isn't this locked? What are you doing here? Mr. Cooper, I... Look at his face. I look so cool. Scared senseless. What the hell have you done? Good, you found my partner. I think I saw something. This is unacceptable. <gasps> Maybe it's like a manifestation of the sun. Maybe he was like trying to protect himself from his mom. And like, it's like a spirit from him. Go take care of your miner, Mr. Cooper, and I'll take care of mine. We'll join you and Davy upstairs shortly. Fine, but if you do something like that again, I'll report both of you. Hmm. You look like you've seen a ghost. Come on, nine-year-olds are not that scary. What happened? My flashlight went out and there was something in the dark. A monster, just like Davy had drawn. Davy tends to run away with pieces of evidence and your imagination tends to run away with you. Nobody's perfect. I know what I saw. I'm a believer! This is a small basement. Notice the seven foot blue goblin if there was one. Maybe it's not entirely physical. Mental manifestation of sorts, exactly. I've read about similar phenomena. Stigmata, demon possession. And I've read about FBI agents reading extensively on stigmata and all that crap. It's one thing they, they all seem to share. Two things. They're either mental or dead, or both. Serious. Strong emotion can be manifested physically. And what could be stronger than the suffering of an abused child? A murderer's desire to get away with the murder, for one. Let's go talk to Mark. He's been lying to us. So, Gary is like the... He's Scully and I'm Mulder. <laughs> I'm just like, there's a monster! <laughs> Are you done already? You're getting in the way and scaring Davy. We know you've lied to us, Mr. Cooper. What do you mean? You have no alibi. Your meeting had been cancelled, which gave you enough time to drive back home and kill your wife. Why would I do that? Abuse. Oh, global marker added something. Kill to protect. Karen was hurting Davy, and you could think of nothing else to protect him. I couldn't take it anymore. She was going to get full custody. I had no choice. I've seen wives getting full custody and keeping their reins inside their skull. There's always a choice. When I got home, Davy was bleeding. She hit him again. I just... I took a hammer. What? One blow was enough to stop it for good. He's covering for his son. When I realized what I'd done, I panicked. And that's when I smashed the door and called the police. I, I don't buy it. Confession is nice, but a confession and a murder weapon gets you a cell with a view. Where's the hammer? I'll call my lawyer now. I've said enough as it is. No view then. Search the house, rookie, while I cuff him and do the paperwork. Oh, there's the goblin. He had a little time to hide the murder weapon. It has to be somewhere here. Think. You're him. You just killed your wife and now you're panic panicking. What do you do? You do something stupid. Most killers do. Screwdriver's out of place. Except for the claw hammer, it's missing. Oh, it is missing. Yeah. Interesting. Something behind the vent. Well, let's... Ooh. Wait, they did use a hammer? Davy's clothes, they're drenched in blood. Why? He was supposed to be in this room, in his room during the murder. I think the kid did it. So this is the hammer, but what the hell are Davy's clothes doing here? Mark Cooper seems to have been lying about a wide range of things, not just his alibi. Ooh, a top secret locker. Oh, that's money though. Oh, I received it, but I have to pay to open it? Okay. Let's not do that. Okay, so analyze the clothes. Oh! Wait, how do I... Do I drag them? Ah. This is how actual FBI agents do their work, you know? Hammer is the murder weapon. Mark Cooper's fingerprints are on it. Hammer must have come from that toolbox over there. Of course his prints are all over it. Agent Dale will laugh me out of the bureau if I register this as evidence. 
There's a second set of prints on the hammer. Must be Davies. <gasps> bam, bam, bam. I can skip it, but it's only 10 seconds for $200. It's almost all of my money. I'm gonna wait. There we go. Blood, brain matter, bone fragments. The kid really doesn't know how to keep his clothes clean. This means Davy was inches away from Karen when her skull cracked. Mark must have hidden his clothes before calling the cops. Damn. Hmm. I think the kid did it. <laughs> Can we talk? You can't take away my dad. He didn't hurt anyone. I told you it was the monster. Maybe sometimes, Mr. Howard's dog, monster set it on fire. Oh. Oi, oi, oi. Why would a monster do such a monstrous thing? <laughs> I was upset. Bad things happen when I'm upset. Yes, yeah, the kid. Mom says it's my fault. It's because I'm not normal. And then she gets angry. Davy, you saw what happened to your mom, didn't you? Yeah. Can you tell me? I got syrup on my shirt. Oh, God. She was really angry. She hit me. I hit- oh, it's so uncomfortable. Only this time I got really angry too. I followed her to the basement and then the monster came. I tried to stop him. I tried so hard. He hit her with his warhammer and she fell. That's when my dad got home and he chased the monster away. He always does. He told me to change my clothes and then I saw him hiding the hammer. Husband comes home and his wife is in the basement with the monster. Sounds like a bad joke. Sadly, it's not. Davy, I need to talk to your dad again before Agent Dale takes him away. <laughs> I called it. Oh, hi, Mr. Cooper. Oh, hi, Mr. Cooper. Care to stop lying for a moment now? Why would I lie? Be a good cop. Yes, Marker. You can tell me everything, Mr. Cooper. I'll do all I can to protect you. I've already confessed. What else do you want? The truth. How many times did you hit your wife, Mr. Cooper? Once. No, you didn't. Where'd you hit her? In the head. You're a good person, Mr. Cooper. What are you talking about? I've murdered my own wife. You didn't do it. Karen was killed with two blows, not one. First the killer shattered her femur, then he smashed her skull. You don't know these details. You probably weren't even there. Davy must have found the divorce papers. He knew Karen was going to get full custody. You won't be there to protect him, so... I would say he killed her. Because you do kind of want to keep your credibility. He's a troubled boy, isn't he? With a mom like that, who wouldn't be? He took your hammer. No! He hit her in the thigh. Ugh. The autopsy showed both blows were made from below. With terrible strength. Alright. His rage must have given him the power. When she fell, he hit her again. This time he broke her skull. And that's when you came home. You panicked, tried to stage a robbery, but in the end, we didn't buy it. So he had to protect your son at any cost. Even if it meant going to jail for him. You don't, how, you don't know how it was for Davy. She beat him. He was just protecting himself. I understand. You can't arrest him. Karen was a DA. No one will show mercy, not even to a kid. His life will be over. Don't tell your partner. Let them arrest me. Jealous loser kills a successful wife for money. The jury will eat it up. Who would believe that the Pillar of Justice was beating her kid at home? I have no proof it to die with Karen. I beg you, Agent. Davy's just a kid. He had his whole life ahead of him. Don't rob him of that. <sighs> but this means he's dangerous. Like, even if we don't arrest him, maybe like 10 years from now, he gets angry again and he kills someone else. He did- he put the fucking dog on fire. I'm sorry, kid, but you're a psycho. I don't trust you. <laughs> I'm not arresting him for killing his mom. I'm arresting him for putting a dog on fire. <laughs> Trying looking less- Try looking less like shit, rookie. Go get a drink. You've put a killer behind bars. Strange, though, how Davy managed the whole thing. 
Not every adult could have shattered Karen's bones like that, even with a hammer. Having a monster for a mom must have taught him to be one in the end. Well, maybe it was a monster. You said it yourself. Things don't add up here. And I saw something in that basement, Dale. I saw it. Keep it up, rookie, and we'll get a full checkup at the mental institution instead of next case. Yeah. Don't ever do that. Not to an agent who just solved a murder case. You think so? Ever heard of a bloke called Fox Mulder? Uh, 9.56 on the day of the incident, the MPDC received a call reporting the deaths of the district of Karen Cooper. Agents go, uh, uh, okay. Investigation reveals severe child abuse. Okay. So this is just what we did. Some aspects of the case remain unexplained. While the investigation cannot provide definite proof that some supernatural monster was indeed involved, the circumstances of the crime do not rule out that extreme possibility. No thanks. Just need to do a couple things quickly on your side. Oh, cool. I'm a believer! Next on the X-Files. Oh shit! Oh! One of the bodies disappeared. She killed the president. Oh, they think I did it? Oh! <gasps> Four stars out of 30? Damn. Okay. Um. Season one. What do I need to do? Oh, we do get the cool intro again. <laughs> Government protect us. Alien technology. La, 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 la. Click on the debug button on the bottom right. Okay, give me one sec. I, I don't want to interrupt the cinematic. Ooh, his head's turned around. Trust no one. Ah ha ha! See what I did? Okay. Debug. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Investigate. Thread pools. Hmm. I don't see him. Oh, here. Because they were behind the thing. <laughs> Palm leaf. The fuck. Tire marks. Oh, I see those. Oh, kitty. That's on the wall. Oh, here. Safety glasses. Oh, and bodies. Okay. Ooh, just barely made that. <laughs> Gary. Oh! Oh, thank you, Dev. That's awesome. Ah, oh, Liago! Hey, thank you for that resub. So glad I finally get to see you again. Internet's been lousy, but now it's better. Yay, congrats. Welcome back. <coughs> Um, okay, so we just found, walked into a garage with a bunch of dead bodies, and there's a witness. Mr. Delanda Hayes. We've been told it was you who found the bodies. So this is case number two, I guess? I f uh, I'd have found much more than that if they hadn't called the police to get rid of me. Oh, she's one of those people who's like, investigating on her own. Thinking, thinking she can do a better job. I've been coming to this dry cleaning every day for the last two months. You work here? You're an employee? Me? Work here? You think big bone people ain't good for nothing but sorting out your dirty underwear, huh? Didn't mean it like that, Jesus. My deepest apologies. Now can we get back to business? Why have you been coming here? Not for cleaning, that's for sure. Wanted to catch them sneaking chemicals in here. You mean drugs? You think you can tell me what I mean just because you're from the FBI? I didn't mean what I said. 
You people, never- you people, never do. Always hiding behind big words and bigger income. Feeding us bullshit about how cleaning chemicals are good for us. Have you seen the cockroaches here? They're the size of a breakfast sausage. Ooh, what kind of chemicals do that to a cockroach? Look, I understand your feelings as a planet-loving activist. But can we please get back to when you found the bodies? First, I saw that guy sneaking out the back door, and then I went in and found the bodies. What guy? The one sneaking chemicals in, obviously. Are you paying attention? My tax money pays every pizza burp you make, and what, could it, what do I get? Jesus. Do you see him clearly? Can you describe him to a sketch artist? Of course I can. Why do you keep saying I ain't good at nothing? Jesus, lady. Less defensive, please. Can you please proceed to the sketch artist now, Mrs. Hayes? Okay, let's see. Uh, that's it, yeah. Ooh, nice hair. I got a nose. I like the music. <laughs> oh wait, gotta give him a nose. There we go. Do you want me to say it for you, partner? Give me a break, Dale. I know this guy looks like Dillahunt. Well, not necessarily. Are you sure this is the guy you saw at the dry cleaner the other night, Mrs. Hayes? I know what I saw, right? He had a hoodie on, but I got a good look at his smug face anyway. It's him. Sketch looks like Liquid Snake. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I don't know. He looks younger. Don't you think, Dale? Maybe he shaved. Come on, it's exactly the same face. Oh, I'm level two! Nice. Okay. So, oh, there's a timer in here too, so you don't have to have it open. You can just wait. Let's analyze the fingerprint. Oh, there. Anything else? Two out of three clues. Oh, there we go. It's a match. The old man's prints are on the victim's safety glasses. Oh, so it was actually him. He must have accidentally touched them when he grabbed the guy by the head. Can't believe it. I can. I always thought theoretical physicists were creepy. <laughs> Maybe. Dilla Hunt sort of was. Not murder creepy. Add it in and unlocked a bunch of customization for your character. Just need to go back to debug and sync with the server. Cool. So that did it? If I clicked on them like that? Oh, I skipped! Oh no! I accidentally skipped going back. The old man's prints are on the victim's safety glasses. Dilla Hunt must have accidentally touched them when he grabbed the guy by the head. Can't believe it. I can. Oh, wait. This is the same. We got reset, maybe. Uh, your old physics professor went nuts and killed two people. It's tough, but these things have- Oh, he's my professor. Old professor. Okay. You know what Dillahunt told us during that lecture? Always check what you're sure of. People make bigger mistakes when they're sure. So I'm gonna check. Okay. Oh, I have $10,000! <laughs> Thank you, Def. I'm rich! <laughs> What did the tire track analysts say? Not much. C250 cargo van. They use it for heavy items pickup and delivery at the dry cleaning. Has it been reported missing? No, seems like it's out of out for a minor repair. Okay. Think you got your evidence now? Not really. We have the tire tracks. Fingerprints. Something off with that van. Was it reported missing, but why wasn't it there? Vans are supposed to go places, that's why they have wheels. Oh my god. Dude, you're such a smart ass. Chicago Contemporary Circus is hiring. It's not too late to turn your life around. <laughs> what can I say? The van's on repair. Looks like we've got our killer after all. Let's see what the autopsy tells us. 
<clears throat> Clever writing. I like it. Oh, play crime scenes to earn stars. Six objects. A lighter. Um... Yeah, I did it. God, I, I hate his face. <laughs> Fuck you and your thumbs up. Okay, continue. We are under star. Let's go. Help Dr. Rivera perform an autopsy. Give me a ladle. <laughs> Why you want a ladle? <laughs> oh, I was hoping you'd be like, give me the ducky. <laughs> Pasta, see you later. Ah, Agent Dale, here's that identity report on the victim that you requested. Thank you, officer. It says the victims were the owners of the place. Been cleaning and wiping rugs for a few years now. Now someone wiped them out. Ha! Anyway, how'd the autopsy go? I just don't understand it, Dale. The killer twisted their necks suddenly and with great force. The coroner's clear on that. It was handmade, not some industrial accident or a torture device. So what exactly bothers you, partner? He's not strong enough. Two big muscular guys with thick necks. Dilla Hunt doesn't exactly seem like he visited a gym visited a gym regularly in the last hundred years or so. <laughs> yeah, two guys. That's kinda weird. Feels like a premeditated, well ex well executed kill. Dr. Dilla Hunt has neither strength nor self control to pull it off. People can surprise you. I mean, who would have thought a kid like Davy Cooper could ki attack his mother like that? Davy was overcome with emotions. The way these two were killed is anything but emotional. You think you know what's in Dillahunt's head, but it's dangerous to presume. Fact is, prints are on the victim's glasses, and the time of death is consistent with the witness's account. Seems like a pretty solid case to me. You're wrong. Things aren't always what they seem. The case just doesn't add up. We need to talk to Dilla Hunt again and sen and make sense of it all. Did it! Yeah, let's go talk to him. Dr. Dilla Hunt, we investigated the crime scene. All the evidence points to you. I want to help you, but honestly, I don't see how we can. It wasn't me. It was the other me. There were many of me before. Now there's less. Only two left. Me and the other. The killer. Did he clone himself? That's the second time he mentions the other him. What do you think it means? Dissociative identity disorder? Split personality would make him legally innocent. The in insanity defense. You have to trust me, I didn't kill those people. The evidence is fabricated, it's all a lie. Lie, lie, lie! It would have taken a lot of effort and resources to frame you in that manner, Dr. Dillahunt. Why would anyone want it that bad? Why'd they kill Kennedy? Why'd they destroy the Twin Towers? It's all part of their plan. Partner, he's clearly not in his right mind. We're wasting our time. No, please. You know that something doesn't make sense. You're the only one who can help me. I point you to the truth. Please. Dale, let's hear him out. You'll find everything you need to know at my house. If you go right now. Why don't you just tell us what it is? Because you won't believe me. I've tried it before. Everyone just thought I was insane. It cost me everything. Agent, people are taught from birth to believe in what they are told to believe. They obey the illusions of normalcy, but it's just a mirage. To escape it, you need to, you need the capacity to open your mind to the extreme possibilities, to challenge the popular opinion, to ask questions. Sometimes reality lies, Agent, and you have to trust your intuition. Sometimes you just have to believe. You have to believe! Go to my house and remember, if you want to find the truth, you have to look behind the lie. Please. That's important. Oh, you can see it. Uh, the lie. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's 
see. Oh, I want to believe. Oh, the lie. That's the lie. Ah, uh, answering machine. Pizza. Oh, there's a beer. Rope. Mm, I don't see it. Oh, it's on the backpack. No, oh, that's not a feather? Oh. What the fuck is that feather? Oh, it's on the backpack again. The pizza is a lie. No, pizza's great. Ooh, I just got enough points. Can we do more of those hidden object screens? I like those. They're so short. I want like 30 objects. I can. Yeah! Holy shit! <gasps> Banana! Kettle? Ladder? Blinds? Sun? Rubber gloves? What's a dustpan? Oh, this? Hell yeah! Okay, so we can do more of those, but it does cost those electricity point thingies. These. Oh, but it costs 20, but you get 20 as a reward, so... He... Package... Walkie-talkie... This is really well done. It looks so nice. The art's really good. Um, I'm not seeing anything. The fuck? That should be obvious, that speaker. Oh, he moved a little. That was like a hint in the game. I cannot see the speaker. Do you guys see the speaker? Brushes on the bed. Oh yeah! Get one. Oh, the speaker's in the fucking fridge! Cheeky. Okay. Now just a bottle of water. Five seconds! There. Oof. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Let's uh let's continue. Oh. Tap to find a matching number in all sectors. Wait, what? Oh. Uh Wait, what? So Oh, maybe 6. Fuck. Jesus, that was stressful. <coughs> Not like to talk to Gordon Dillahunt, please. Speaking. Janine with the Greenfield, Psy Greenfield Psychiatric Hospital. You seem to have missed. <sighs> seem to have missed your appointment with Doctor Fogler on Tuesday. It's a lot of reading. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't feeling too well. Like to reschedule. Failed to check in with the psychiatrist, huh? Probably too busy planning the murder. Look at the timestamp. This recording was made at the time of death, as we know it from the autopsy. Dillahunt was at home talking on the phone while someone else killed those guys at the cleaner. How is it possible? Delanda Hayes saw him at the cleaner at the exact time he got his call. Dun dun dun! Maybe Dillahunt wasn't at the cleaner. I think there's someone else in the house. Freeze! FBI! State your name and business! Holy fuck! Oh. He looks evil. And Agent Francis Stover, Secret Service. 
Dillahan got, has got sensitive information of state importance. My department is equipped with, to deal with things Dillahan knows. We'll be taking him into our custody. Refuse politely. I'll get the paperwork for Dillahan's transfer then. Thanks. I'll need a court order anyway. Fine. I'll have the order soon enough, agent. He's kind of like Wesker. This whole thing doesn't feel right, Dale. The prince, the witness, the recording, and then the secret service. Just doesn't add up. Unless someone's lying to us. Agent Stover. I don't like him. Secret service? Really? Have they heard what the old man was blabbing? Don't know, Dale. Dale Hunt was definitely paranoid and raving back at the station. But then the Stover guy comes and says Dale Hunt knows things. We should poke around here. Maybe we can find some answers. Let's do it! A man like Dillahunt must have a secret stash of some sort. Let's take a look. Mulder's obituary? The body of FBI Special Agent Fox Mulder was buried this Sunday. Oh no, he's dead! North Carolina, close to his parents and sister Samantha. Oh, he disappeared. Oh, okay. Mysterious circumstances last year, the body was discovered. Oh, he is dead near a farm in Montana by his colleagues after a lengthy... The face looks familiar, but I can't place him. Because he's famous from TV! Then the obituary is dated April 2001, long before my time. Why would Dillahunt keep it? Must be the password. Dillahunt should read more careful. Should be more careful leaving it like that. Yeah, look behind the lie! I need a code to open it. How about this? Open sesame! Treasure awaits! Torn photo and old death certificate. Now how do we make sense of it all? Dillahun must have hated this picture. I did good! Why is Mulder dead though? <laughs> That's really sad. <laughs> Mm, let's do this one first. <gasps> Big boss. Hi. <laughs> what is it? Death certificate. Name of the deceased Gordon Dillahunt. Namesake? Why would the old man keep a namesake's death certificate in the safe? Must be a forged one. Date of death. December 1, 1975. Died an infant more than 30 years ago. Who are you really, Dr. Gordon Dillahunt? Oh shit. Chup. Is this a photo of Agent Stover? Yes. It's been taken from a distance. Looks like a secret surveillance shot to me. You think Dillahunt was spying on Stover? Either that or he was stalking the guy. Yeah, I don't know how I did get the extra outfits. Um, I'll have to look in the main menu maybe. You never know what these psychos are up to. Anyway, Dillahunt's somehow connected to Stover. I wonder what the connection is. Um... Oh, here, change the avatar. We got more hair. <laughs> oh, oh, this is so cute. This is like Ripley hair. Nice. I, this looks professional, though. Oh, it's me! <laughs> Yay! Okay. So now I look different? Oh, we need a star. Seven objects. What the hell is this? Blood smear? Um
That's what was it. That was a cheeky globe. So I guess you can unlock those with like in the in-game money or something. And you can probably the in-app purchase is probably like you can buy dollars in the game. <laughs> I look so different now. <laughs> okay, Dr. Dillahunt, you had to talk to us. You said we'll find the truth at your house, but instead we only found more questions. Who's Agent Stover? Why is he interested in you? Why were you following him? What the hell's going on? He's like, what did you do? You sure changed. You met Stover? Yes, and he told us that you have some secret government information. What was he talking about? My work for the government. Why? Wait, why do you want to know? Did Leaper send you? Oh no, you're here to kill me. Here we go again. Dr. Dillahunt, calm down. We're trying to help you. We need to know what's going on. What's your real name? You know my name. Don't pretend you don't know it. Uh, no, I don't. Are you in witness protection? Were you, what were you doing for the government? Secret science program, perhaps? Good night, Solid. See you later. Liar. Stover? Why were you following him? I had to. He knew. I, I knew he'll come for me eventually, and he did. But why? Because he's one of them, don't you see? They are after me. I know too much. Who are they, Dr. Dillhunt? You're not making any sense. You know perfectly well you're one of them too. Why didn't you tell us about your alibi? What are you talking about? The phone call from the hospital. You were home during the murder. How did you know about my phone calls? You have bugged my phone, didn't you? Oh my god, it's too... No, we weren't. We found your an answering machine. Wasn't it why you sent us to your house in the first place? I didn't know such thing. You're a liar. What? So this is a different Dillahunt? Wait a minute. Kitty, you're on my... Yeah, okay. Dr. Dillahunt, please, you have to help me here. What's really going on? What does Stover want from you? Is he part of a conspiracy? You have all the answers you need, but I still don't understand anything. You haven't found the right questions yet. You're trying to find out who's killed those poor men. Instead, you should be asking yourself why they were killed. You see? Why them? Why now? I don't suppose you can tell me. I don't know. What I do know is that they always have a reason. You think we missed something about the victims? Something to connect them all to this? I suppose we can go back to the dry cleaner, take a closer look at their office. Don't get your hopes up. I think he's. I, th I still think he's just disturbed. Hmm. Cool. Let's search first. I want to search stuff. Mm. No noodles. I want noodles. Oh, donuts. There's a donut. Okay, now now I'm distracted. Ah, there's a spider too. Ugh, go away. Hammer. Where the fuck is that tissue box? Oh, there. Paper cup. I did it. I like the music. I like the art most of all. Like everything looks so good. Whoever did the art did a great job. So let's see what Stover's files say. It's kind of like um, artifacts quality, don't you think? Francis Stover, United States Secret Service, classify, classify, redacted, classify. Who is this guy? Why is he connected to Dillahunt? Don't know. Really shouldn't mess with Secret Service. It's about our pay grade. Yes, well, where's the fun in that? Oh, <laughs> Big Boss, so cute. <laughs> I'm like scratching his, uh, his belly. And he's just so happy. Yeah, you. <laughs> That's the best thing about hidden object games. You only need one hand to play them. <laughs> Other hand's the kitty hand. Oh my god, it's so cute. I don't know if I can show you guys because I, I don't think I can reach the the camera. Find numbers among random symbols and tap them. I see. Oh my god.
There we go. Well, that's interesting. What? Looks like our victims were doing some dry cleaning for the White House. Carpets and drapes and stuff like that. Oh, shit. They got access to the White House? Can't be just a coincidence, considering the Secret Service is interested in the case. They were scheduled to pick up a new batch later today, actually. I guess they won't be making- <gasps> But the van's missing! They're already on their way, dude. They're gonna be in the office. They're gonna kill the president. Let's head back to the office, run some inquiries through the system. I have a feeling that we're onto something here. Me too. Level 3! Agent, will you go and fetch Dilhunt? I'm taking him. Not so fast. We're not done with him yet. Careful, Agent. You don't want me to think you're stalling. Just doing my job. No need to be rude, Agent Stover. I'd just like to be thorough. Appreciate it, but your time's up. Court order demanding the transfer of Garden Dillahunt. It's not valid. What? Fake name. Gordon Dillahunt is not his real name. It's an alias he's taken up. Therefore, this order is not valid. Is that a fact? Yes, it's been uncovered during the investigation. And what's his real name, may I ask? Can't tell you. It's part of the investigation. I have no right to reveal this kind of information to third parties. Oh, snap! Well, 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 agent. I guess we'll have to look into it on our end, then. I guess you will. We'll come up with a valid court order shortly. See you soon. I keep thinking of Agent Stover as like a Wesker with a Wesker voice. See you soon. What was that about? What's the old man's real name? Complete global saturation. Astar, see you later. Good night. I have no idea, but Stover obviously does. He wasn't even pressured to hear about the alias. We need to act, we need to act fast before he gets back with another order. We can't lose Dillahunt to that bastard. Okay. I think they're already on their way to the fucking police station. <gasps> Donut! Yay! Present! Woo! Grapes! Yeah! Statue! That one! That one! Mm, there. And there. That was a good one. I did well. I got a star. Let's do a couple. Because I want a bit more stars. And we get the electricity points back anyway. Eight objects. I like how this changes up too. This is a bit harder though for me. Mm. Yeah, I did it. Agent Gab. <laughs> Cat winter. <laughs> Maybe I should make that my uh, YouTube name. Gap winter. Um, I got three stars and all. That's pretty cool. Guess I'll go move on now. That was a neat stunt you pulled, partner. Yeah, well, I'm not giving him Dr. Dillahunt until I'm sure what's going on. Can you give me that court order, please? Sure. Why? I want to get Stover's fingerprints from it. What? Why on earth would you need this prince? Being thorough. It's likely to be thorough. Certain things about Stover don't add up. There's one. Two. Mm, three. Oh, I need five. You won't believe it. Stover's prints. They belong to Dillahunt. Oh, fuck. That's cool. They 100% match with Dillahunt's prints. It's impossible. Two people can't have the same prints if they're related. Forensics 101. Well, maybe Stover is Dillahunt. Except he's not. I know. None of this makes sense. Let's see what Stover's profile says. Can you access it? Yeah, this is weird. His fingerprints... And why would he have a court order for himself? His fingerprints are in his profile, but they're different fingerprints. 
They must be fake. I mean, these other prints we've lifted off an object, but we've actually seen him touch. They're Dillahunts, which makes them unreal. Shit's unreal, man! Agent, I want you and Agent Dale in my office. Oh, is that our boss? Just a minute, sir. We... Now! Oh, shit. Section Chief. Ah, is that what C SC stands for? There you are. Agent Dale and Agent Winter grace us with their presence at last. As ordered, sir. And... Ma'am? Who is she? You're talking to me, Agent. I'm talking to you. Are we clear on that? Crystal clear. Perfectly, sir. Love it when people talk to each other. <laughs> Such a smart ass. Feelings hardly mutual, I assure you. Don't, don't have to be rude about it. Jeez. Search inquiry from your office just fired up a red flag on my desk, which means the same thing happened on the other desks as well. Now people behind these desks are calling me, asking what the hell's going on in my house. So tell me, Agent, what the hell is going on? If you're referring to Special Agent Stover of the US Secret Server, yes, he, Service, yes, he is now part of this investigation. We found his photo in the suspect's house, and then there are the fingerprints and the fact that Gordon Dillahunt might be a false identity. Let me stop you right there, Agent, before you say anything else you might regret. You've clearly lost control of your investigation. Transfer your suspect to Agent Stover and close the case. No more antics. Frankly, sir, you don't really seem in control of your office either. You're dismissed, Agents. My regards, ma'am. Who is she? Things are getting hot in here. Let's do the first one again. Back to the garage. Oh, what? It's green! Oh, no! Oh, that's hard! What? There's a kitty. Oh my god, this is really hard. I don't know where that- oh, there. Hey. <gasps> New lockbox! Secret box! Ah. <laughs> Big boss. Oh, Big Boss. <laughs> He's running away with my earbuds. One sec. Okay. My hand's so cold. Ooh. Just my right hand. Okay, so let's see if those $19 are like in-game currency thing, because in that case I have more than enough. Yeah, they are. Okay, cool. What did I get? Money? Okay, cool. Now that one has four stars though. Now I have to do all of them. Oh, I got something new for my avatar. I wonder what. Hmm. Because it was red again. It was a little thingy. Okay. Nine objects. They're in the same spot, though, as before. So some of them I know, like, where they are now. But some are new. That was good! God, I hate how he gives me a thumbs up every time. How did I do, score-wise? Hmm, not too bad. Okay, let's see this one too. Oh god, they took the color out again. Uh. K. 
calendar should be there. Okay. <coughs> uh, I'm sorry. Okay, four stars all around. Let's go. What can I do for you, agent? Can you check a vehicle clear for entering the White House premises today? C-250 cargo van, license plate, blah blah blah. On the list, yes. In fact, the van's already in. Came in 15 minutes ago. <gasps> Damn, we need to get there ASAP. Listen, this van's part of a double murder investigation. Driver and the loader are to have been killed. Whoever's driving it now might be the killer. You need to detain them till we get there. Let's go, Dale. I'll drive. Let's go. Oh shit! Cutscene! Ah, not really. Secret Service have got the cleaners in custody. We'll go and see if they start talking. I'll look for their van. It must be somewhere. I wish they didn't make us give up our, our guns at the gate. Stupid chasing killers with an FBI badge for a weapon. I look so irritated. It's not stupid, it's dangerous. Keep your eyes open. Ooh, let's search it! Squirrel! Fence. Roses. Pine cone. Notebook. Hell yeah! Big spider on the chair. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, they have different filters and modes, yeah. I, I'm more of a fan of like just so many objects in the screen and then you just get a list and you can just take your time and search. I like that better, but for the purpose of this game and like it being on Facebook and stuff, I can understand this is more of a, a more popular way to do it. It's the dry cleaning logo. This must be their van at last. Why is it parked right next to the Oval Office windows? Must be a bomb inside the van. I need to open it now! Where do you assume it's a bomb? I hope it's not a bomb. Time's running out. There's a bomb inside. I have to find it fast. Um, do I have this? Oh. Um, good. Um, okay. <laughs> Not sure. Ooh! Gun will definitely come in handy. No, no it won't. God damn it. Oh god, they must have come for the president. Called it so long ago. No time to call for a backup. Must go inside and prevent the assassination. Oh, it's him! Oh, I got him! <laughs> Where is he? Oh, now they think I did it. Don't shoot! Federal agents! Well, they can... They can check, right? They can see that the, the gun I used, the bullets I fired, don't match the ones in the body of the president. Interrogation. Okay. I'll have to wait for a little bit. Let's do a puzzle in the meantime. Um, that's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. I don't know what that is. Squirrel! Birdie! Helicopter! Print! They killed the president and they're printing it on you. Oh, maybe, Vic. Yeah. That could work. Still one minute to go. I don't know if this... Wait, free? Skip. Oh. Coffee? Sure. Can I see your credentials? No, you can't. He 
You don't seem to understand the severity of your situation, agent. Right now you're thinking, I have a right to a phone call. I have a right to be represented by a lawyer. There are rules. I am protected. You are not. There are no rules. The only way you're getting out of here is if you tell me everything that I want to know. And I like what you say. Ask away. I have nothing to hide. Don't you? Agent Dale told us otherwise. He's in the next room right now, signing a confession that implicates you as a mastermind behind the attempt at the president's life. Yeah, right. You're lying. I was on top of my class of in investigative interviewing, so I know all your tricks. Regardless, you were sent to ass assist the police and came in contact with Dr. Gordon Dillahunt, correct? That's really what you want to talk about? You don't want to. I don't... You don't want to, I don't know, maybe ask about how I witnessed the president being murdered? No one has been murdered, a murdered agent. You're confused. What? Are you insane? Two imposters infiltrated the White House using false identities. My guess is to help Stover get rid of the body. Listen, they're in your custody. The mere fact of their existence corroborates my story. I don't know what you're talking about. No one, There's no one in custody except for you and Agent Dill. There never was. Now about Dr. Dillahunt. Are you serious? You can't possibly think that you can cover this up. The president is dead, for God's sake. You seem to have forgotten who's asking the questions here. Don't make me angry. You, you won't like the result. Stand down, agent. There's no way to treat a hero. Wait, is that the president? What he said. Wait, aren't you dead? <laughs> As you can see, agent, I am unharmed. Sadly, I can't say the same about my double. Poor man. Oh. You understand, of course, there's nothing of what transpired here and early in the White House can be brought to light. Of course. Yes, sir, I understand. <clears throat> this is a question of national security, agent. Be assured, your superiors will be informed of your ex ex exemplary, exemplary service. You have my gratitude. You're free to go. Don't concern yourself. The investigation will be handled by my most capable people. They won't bother you anymore. I'm not done here, sir. Aren't you? Still the question of Dr. Dillahunt. Ah, yes, of course. Sad business. He has done so much for this country. But we can't let our state, se state secrets be divulged by a madman, can we? Agent, if you would be so kind to fetch Dr. Dillahunt from the police station, I assure you he'll be received the best care possible. Still need a proper order. <laughs> that won't be a problem. What are you waiting for? Ah, uh, wait. So... Are we not gonna... Oh, I need two stars for that. I got him. We... We're not gonna know, like, how this happened. Sorry, Dr. Dillahunt. I did everything I could. You'll have to come with me. You're being transferred to... Transferred to... I don't even know where. Wait. No, you can't. I didn't kill those people. I know. It was Stover, wasn't it? He needed them dead to get his people into the White House, and he framed you for the murder. But why? And how? You can't give me to them. They'll make me disappear. You have to believe me. They're not who you think they are. You don't understand. I can't let them take me. Please, you must help me. Help me escape. It's the only way. Do you understand what you're asking? I'm an FBI agent. I can't just let you go. Because you have your orders? Believe me, agent. Years from now, you look back and wish you had listened to your conscience. I was in your place, and I look and look where it got me. I... Hey there, agents. There's someone in the lobby who says you're supposed to hand Gordo over to her care. Transfer papers are in order, you just need to sign here. By the way, it turns out Gordo isn't even his real name. His actual name's kind of weird, though. It's... Oh, give me the name! You can't give me to her! Hey, easy there. Hey, what the hell? Oh, shit! He's gonna punch him. I'll get fired, though, if I don't do anything. Oh, shit. What should I do? You guys choose. Should we keep our job or do nothing? Two for Brady. One for nothing. <coughs> Three for Brady. Is he Mulder? <laughs> okay, there's more for help, Brady. Despite everything that happened, you're still an officer of the law. Being assigned an accomplice to assault is not something you're willing to do. 
Dillon will over overpower the policeman and escape. Her intuition tells you that it might be for the best, but also that there will be consequences. Whew. Oh lordy! Oh, it's fruits! <laughs> the crazy old bastard jumped me. If it weren't for Agent Winter here, I don't know what would have happened. You knocked him out cold. I did. Well then, thank you for his service, Agent. I'll take it from here. Where are you taking him? Above your clearance. You two are free to go. I hope you I don't need to tell you to keep your mouth shut about what happened. No, ma'am. If you talk, I'll know. And you don't want to find out what happens next. Nah. Shit. I really wanted to know what... What's the... Uh, we're done. We don't know anything now about, like... His identity or what was going on. Tulips? Oh, those are tulips. Ah. I can't find the rake. Where the fuck is the rake? Oh, there. Cobweb? The truth is out there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, that's fucking perfect. Ah, fuck. What do you guys think? He had green blood. Do you think he's like a clone? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hmm. Ectoplasmic <laughs> shapeshifter, but he had he had the dude's fingerprints. It was like a younger version of of the professor, but the professor also was like super confused about. Like telling us to go home at first, and then being like, "I never told you that," so that would just, that would that would tell us that there's also two older versions, right? I don't know. Let me fix my earbuds because they're all twisted. Hey, llama. Uh, it's not big fish, no. Um, what is the studio actually? It's not big fish or artifacts. Ninety-four of players decided to listen to his story. Eighty-three assumed Agent Stover was part of conspiracy. Sixty-six confessed. It keeps getting lower. <laughs> huh. So fifty-fifty people are like super divided on it. Oh my god, I'm such a believer. <laughs> I'm sure the deaf can tell you more. Creative Mobile, Fox Next. There you go. Um, Dev, how many case files were there again? Six? So we're about to start case number three. Super focused. Now I'm losing stuff though. What's this? Oh. Mm -hmm. Ah, shit. Where the fuck? Oh, there. <sighs> Prologue plus five cases. So. Yeah. So we're now going to case number two, I guess. We did prologue case one. So prologue is is the the one with the kid, and then case one is this one with the president. So agents, let's see. 
Solved the case, got a commendation from the president for reasons undisclosed. Helped contain a dangerous old madman. You've been busy, agent. Doesn't feel right. Frankly, sir, I feel comfortable leaving Dillahunt with that woman for the government. She is shady. <laughs> Aren't they all? But then such, is, such are the rules of the game. And you do well obeying those rules. That is kind of like Exiles, though. It's always like... Mulder and Scully are like, there's something else going on here, and then their superiors are like, uh-uh, cut it off there. Make no mistake, Agent, your decisions will always have consequences, one way or another. You won't always have A.D. Skinner vouching for you and getting your sorry faces from the White House. You mean Walter Skinner, sir? The FBI legend? He was the one who got us out? Sure it wasn't your sweet smile, Agent Dale. <laughs> In fact, why don't you tell me just what exactly happened out there? Assassination attempt. Member of the Secret Ser Service, acting alone or on behalf of a conspiracy, infiltrated the Oval Office to kill the President of the United States, and... You are very out of line right now. Possibly out of your mind, too. Quite not sure yet. Anything you'd like to add, Agent Dale? Agent Winter's testimony seems accurate, sir. I stand by my partner, always. Oh, Gary has a soft spot for me. Thanks, partner. Settle this outside, will you? Dismissed. I'm so glad you guys got this music in. The best. <laughs> so that means we'll do. Oh! It's Mulder! What? <gasps> Mulder, Mulder, Mulder! Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. That was really cool. Oh, we need two more stars. Let's do all of them one more time. So we'll do one more case, then we'll watch some episodes on the Discord, through Discord. Uh, X-Files episodes and then we'll continue tomorrow with and then we'll finish the game tomorrow um. <laughs> What is this? First aid kit. I she mm, I don't know what this is. Oh clock clock? Where the hell is there a clock? Behind the fucking- oh! Sneaky! Next case relates to the folder you got. The folder? Oh yes! Oh fuck it's in the other room. I should get it. I'll uh, I forgot. I should- I'll put the pictures to all the entire case file that I got on the discord server. Level four! Excellent! Oh god, this is hard. There's a revolver here? You mean the- no, not the big gun. Wait. Oh, it's on a picture. Oh. <laughs> There's a bowling ball? Oh, the rifle. I see the pin. If you see anything, let me know. But it's a bit hard. I'm trying to like be fast because of the timer. This room is a horde of evidence. <laughs> Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh, there's the bowling ball. Okay. There we go. No, oh, I didn't get the score. It took me too long to find the bowling ball. Do it again. I can do it. 
I can do it, coach! Put me in! Okay. Oh god, it's different. Fuck. Um, I'm fucked. I have no clue where that is. That's not an ashtray. That's not an ashtray. Shit. Alien? Is it okay? No. Oh, it's like a little guy. Oh, Craven! Hey! Thank you! Oh, Seiko! I totally missed those 420. <laughs> Blaze it. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, god damn it. Oh, there's the alien. Fuck. Um, I'm really failing this one. Can I quit the challenge? Oh, I did not see that back there. Okay, this is a bad one. Thank you, Craven. Okay, no, let's not replay. That one's too hard. Let's do this one. Um. Oh, it's mirrored. Ooh, that's weird. That's really weird. Uh. What's this one? I don't know what it is. What is it? <gasps> there. New lockbox! Yay! Once you get five stars, it gets much harder. Ah, yeah, it feels like this is much harder. Hmm? I can't open it. Meh. I want to. Okay, we have enough stars. Let's go. Trust no one. <laughs> Can I? Ooh! And coming soon. Cool. So you're planning on making more? That's awesome. Okay, last case for today. This is one I ah oh, fuck no I kind of want to grab the case files. I might have to. And it'll take me like one minute to go grab them. Because they're in the living room. Oh, they're downloading. Oh, let me just grab it now then. Let, let it download. Uh, mods, could you run an ad, please? Thanks. So, here's the case file I got. Can't really show you properly because of the chroma green screen, but... Um, I tweeted a couple pictures of these. It's really cool. There's like a bunch of text in it. I, this is honestly the coolest thing I've ever gotten for a game. So this is a letter. It says, if you're reading this, they've probably got me. I managed to rescue this file from the incinerator before they destroyed all the evidence. I know this is a leap of faith, but you seem like my best hope to make this public. People, ne people need to know the truth about this. Read through the file, connect the dots. The news won't touch this, so you have to post the truth about the case on social media. Use hashtag deep state to alert the others. Stay safe. And there's like this cool mark on the bottom. I can't really show it proper properly, but... Little gold mark. It's so cool. Such a good job. Okay, but let's, um, let's dive into case before we, uh... Before we read the rest of the file. Okay. Investigate. It's even an evidence bag with stuff in it. Isn't that cool? I'm so happy. Have you guys seen the commercials for Hunt a Killer? Oh! 
Is this... wait... Is this just really good art? Yeah, it is. I thought it was like a real picture for a second. Oh, accidentally opened my phone. So maybe this was the dude that assassinated the president with the green blood. In corpore sano. Morning, partner. I have good news and bad news. Let's hear the bad news first. You know me, Dale. I love the smell of bad news in the morning. Your White House stunt has angered some high chain. We are getting transferred to the X-Files unit. Yay! <laughs> yes, yes, yes! Everything concerning the X-Files unit is top secret. It was created back in the 90s as a Felicity stunt. <laughs> the actual FBI agent is like, oh fuck, and I'm like, yes! All our predecessors have either quit the Bureau or gone mad. From the rumors I've heard, one is either a surgeon or a nun. Basically, it's a career killer. Technically, it's a promotion, so congratulations, I guess. <laughs> Speaking of unsolvable cases, two grossly mutilated bodies were found in Lexington this week. Mutilated how? File says beyond recognition. One's in the FBI laboratory in Quantico, and the other is fresh. They don't want to move it until we have a look. Nice! Okay, let's go. Ooh! Body? What? what? The fuck is up with that body? Um, rope? Giraffe. Rope? Whew, I did it. <laughs> I'm re I'm having a lot of fun. I love X-Files, I love hidden object games, so... I wish it was a little bit less, like... I mean, I understand why. Because it's like, the type of game they're making is like, more... A Facebook game. And I love the- I love the relaxed hidden object game style more, you know? Like big fish games and artifacts. So if it was like this game, maybe they'll make a collector's edition someday and like publish it at big fish or something. That would be cool. And then they can make like a more relaxed version. What on earth happened here? Grossly mutilated my ass. That sounds like me. Straight up nightfall zone material. What is even capable of doing this to a human body? It's as though he was dismembered and sewn together, sewn together in the wrong order. Except I don't see any cuts. Radi radiation poisoning? This is bad. We need to get this body to Quantico ASAP. Dr. Rivera should perform an autopsy. Let's go then. Damn. This is cool. Let's go to the lab. <gasps> no! They did it! You want the ladle again? <laughs> so funny. Forceps? What's that? This one? Scalpel. We are done. Oh, hi. You look cute. You seem a little green, agents. I don't... Please don't throw up on my cadavers. <laughs> if you do avoid Mr. Sanders here, I just cleaned him. <laughs> Excuse me? You're not serious, are you? If you think that I'm joking, Agent, you're making a grave mistake. I'm dead serious. Oh, they got the music now. Yee! A lot of people have been asking about a Steam console version, so who knows? Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, Steam would be doable. I'll we'll probably have to change up the game a little bit, though, to like exclude uh, in game purchases. I, I don't think Steam does that, do they? Dr. Rivera is well known for her singular sense of humor, so, Doc, what can you tell us? Surprisingly, this man died from natural causes. An unknown autoimmune disorder caused his body to attack itself, which caused proliferative mutations somewhat similar to Hansen's disease symptoms. Basically, his internal and external organs started changing uncontrollably, and as, as a result, he died a slow and agonizing death. Hmm... There are two victims. Isn't it close to impossible for two people in the same area to die from this unique disease in a week? Honestly, I can't quite explain it. Some environmental factor, perhaps? If I were you, I'd search for a connection between the victims. 
What do we know about the second one? DNA identification just came in for the other body. That was one of the faces on the dude. Megan Schmidt, age 37. Rich divorce, owns an apartment in Lexington. Maybe it was like... No, wait, it can't be all in one dude because they have two bodies. Thanks, doctor. We'll head back to Kentucky. Keep us informed. I'll be sure to do that, agents. Now, where did I put that sandwich? <laughs> Yeah, I, I can definitely see that working out though. That would be awesome. I would definitely play it again if you get like a collector's edition going at one point that has like a Steam version, I mean. The artwork is already done, like all the artwork. Uh, let's see, there you go. Yeah, I did well. 17 seconds. Yeah. Leprosy? Ah. Um, we got one star. Let's see. Excellent. <laughs> I did it. I think. Wait. Wait, I got it just now. Oh. Did I do it too fast? Okay, new scene. Let's go. We gotta get two stars. Ooh, nice. A Bible? Where? What's Omega? Oh, this sign? Yeah. Wine stains. What the fuck is a hookah? Uh. Oh. Hmm. Right parking. Bellflower Avenue, Lexington. Okay. Water pipe. Hmm. I mean, yeah. English not being my native language. There's certain words I'm just like, what? Hidden object games always teach me new words. This Bible is kind of hefty. <gasps> There's something hidden inside. Ah, whiskey. That's a good joke. Okay. I need one more. Okay. That'll take... Wait, is that saying it'll take an hour? Yeah, but I mean, I can skip it, but let's get two stars first. Is that a Roomba? I want one of those in the future. In this house, it's impossible, though. There's too many, like, doorways that it can't get through. There we go. Oh, night, Quartzy. See you later. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you too, Amaya. You have so many pets. It would be so nice to have that, right? I'm the same. So many cat hairs. Um, We got two. Let's skip this one now. Megan Schmidt. Car spent a lot of evenings parked here. What was she doing in this place? It's too far from both her home and her workplace. Better memorize the address. It might come in handy. Okay. Um, let's get to know Dale better. Why not? Hey Dale, can I ask you a question? Oh, is this our office? Oh, whoops. Um, and sink our Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Are those local gangs? I never heard of them. That's the best. Let's move on. <laughs> Are you a dog person or a cat person? Don't have time to take care of a dog, but I did have a pony when I was little. Oh, what was his name? Wait, don't tell me. Bob. Peggy. <laughs> Short for Pegasus. Oh, that's actually really cute. 
<laughs> yeah, Backstreet Boys all the way. I understand why Bowman hates me, but why does he hate you? You seem like a stand-up guy, good agent. He hates everyone, but yeah, me especially. He thinks I'm a threat. What? Why? It wasn't easy for him to climb the ladder. He worked hard to get where he is now. But to rise higher, you need money and connections, which he thinks I have. So I'm a potential rival and a dangerous one at that. Why would he think that you have money? Because my family does, and they have connections anywhere, everywhere too. Wait, you're one of those Dales? Old money, political di dynasty, American royalty Dales? Yes, but it's not how you think. I'm not on speaking terms with my father. In fact, he unofficially disowned me after I graduated from police academy. And yet everything I achieve is perceived to be the result of nepotism. So you might imagine why I don't like talking about it. Man, yeah, that sucks. Trying to distance yourself from your filthy rich family might not sound like a serious problem, but it is for me. Anyway, how about you? You're from Wisconsin, right? Yeah, I'm from a farming town called Delta Glen. It's really small, so you've probably never heard of it. Sheriff, butcher, farmers, or preacher. Farmers. My folks used to own a farm. Eventually they had to sell it to a big corporation though, just like everyone else. So why the FBI? Well, when I was a kid, some lunatic went on a murder spree in our town. Two FBI agents came down and stopped him. I guess they made an impression. Hmm. Help people, Avengers, get away or be strong. Strong. I wanted to be strong like they were. I would drink to that, but I don't drink. Plus, we're on duty. So, that's all I wanted to ask. Let's move out. I asked very important questions there. Oh, husband's calling me. Yes? Um, no, I have enough in house. You come in house? Okay. Okay, that sucks. Oi. He was asking me if I wanted some food. I just realized, by the way, we're really early in the stream. We haven't even been streaming two hours, so... Hey, Dark! Thank you for the resub! So maybe uh, we should we can just finish the game today. If we go, like, three, four hours. So we're about... We're about to reach the halfway point, right? So yeah, that means th the game can be finished in like four hours, maybe. Unless the other cases are longer. Not sure. What do you guys think? Um, we can also go a little bit longer until we're just tired and then finish it off tomorrow and then do something else tomorrow afterwards. That's not a vacuum cleaner. Do you guys call it a vacuum cleaner? Glass crack. Each case takes about one, two hours depending on speed. Yeah, that would just, that would, yeah. So then there would be a good three hours left. But we've been going so fast. Maybe the prologue was just really slow. Or fast, I mean. <laughs> the opposite. One more star. <clears throat> I feel like it's getting harder though. We need more stars and everything. A poof! Oh, that's a... You guys call that a poof as well? Huh. Mm. Nail polish. Okay. You love vacuum? Oh no, Peter, what's wrong with you? It's horrible. Another big spider on the bed. Oh no! Hand vacuum. Ah, yeah. Okay, well, just let's just get through this case and then see what time it is, and then maybe we'll do another, depending on, depending on the time. Yeah, we'll get a bit harder. Yeah. Uh, something a rich divorce and a poor Afro-American from RV have in common. You never know, appearances can be deceptive. 
jammed, I'll need something to force it open. Something hard inside. Having a knife never hurts. Three years clean and sober. Aww. He probably wanted to keep it close as a reminder of his strength. Oh, Jammed. Okay, how about a crowbar? Out of my way! What's that? A cup. With blood on it. I doubt the victim went out for a coffee all that often. There could be a clue here. Okay. Too many energy drinks and a lack of sleep. Ooh. Um, we need to do another. We're running low on stars here. It's definitely getting harder, yeah, to progress. Oh, that's not what I need. Spider. Ooh, so big. Piggy. I haven't found that map yet. Uh, where is it? There. It's getting harder. Yeah. Color, yeah. I'm also very surprised at how harder it is without color. But the green filter is even worse than the black and white. Gah. As I said it. Here we go. This is really hard. Don't know where the perfume is. Easel? Oh, that's for painting? Ah, fuck that one piece of cake. I don't know where the perfume is. There. Did I make it? Is it good enough? Whew. Okay. Scene cleared. Yeah, it's really hard, Peter. <laughs> uh, okay. Analyze the cup of coffee. Oh, what? What are we, what are we doing? Hmm. None of them have an upper stain. Not really sure what I'm supposed to do here. Oh. We're just looking at the background thing, not the- oh. I see. I was looking at the blood stain. I was like, uh... It's cat, so it's this or this one. Don't see a difference. Do you guys see it? Wait, what? I don't even see a difference between these- Oh, Toffee Cat! Holy shit! Okay. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> Let's talk. So, what do a rich Caucasian socialite and an African-American guy living in a cheap RV have in common? Maybe they were good friends. There are not clues that spark that. Or maybe... No, I don't think it's the Bible. We did find booze <coughs> hidden all over the place. He was an alcoholic and there was a sobriety patch? Is that how you say that? In the RV. So maybe they met in an AA meeting. Plausible. We're checking out anyway. Now we just have to find out where these part particular meetings take place. Any ideas? <laughs> oh god, we're have to do we're gonna have to do a fifth one. This is gonna be hard. 
Oh shit. Oh no. I, I don't see it. You can show me that it's blue, but it's not gonna help me. This is so hard. Ugh. In the shower, yeah. No, I passed. I was a hard-earned star. Now I'm getting worried about my electricity points. What if you... Oh, you get points by inviting friends. That's smart. Let's look at the map. Here's the coffee shop that one of the victims frequented. And here's the parking lot where the other victim used to park her car late in the evenings. My phone is going off like crazy. I'll put it face down. I'll bet you that the AA meetings are taking place somewhere near. That's a residential area. Not a lot of places where you can gather and talk in private. How about this church? Churches often host various support groups. Yeah, it makes sense. Let's check it out. Okay. I need two stars. Wait, I can't get two stars. Oh no, do I? <gasps> oh no, you can do a harder level. How do I get new ones? Oh, I had this one. Nice. Oh, and I can just get more with like in-game currency? Oh no, I can't. That doesn't really work. Hmm. I have 18 of these? Oh. Oh, then I don't have to worry. Let's try again. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Dev. <laughs> um, wait, this is pro? It's color. Poster. That must be a specific one. I did it! I'm glad I won't run out of out of energy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Black box! Only Oh I can open it. Yeah, it worked. Lights up number two. I don't know what that does. Auto consume. Hmm. Oh, it continues. Look, I can do even more. I don't know, 50 collected. I don't know what that... Okay. I can do it! I'm starting to just know the objects now. I say as I immediately don't recognize any of this. What the fuck is this? Oh, I can't click it! <gasps> I just have to find out on my own. This is hard mode. There's a scooter outside? Nice. Is that a can? No. Ha! Ah, I lost my entire combo. You can try using them to help your searches. I should, yeah. Let me try one. I should try a boost. Let's see. Lights up. Let's see what it does. Oh, it just shows the items. Oh god. What was that? Oh, it shows the item maybe? Like it pinpoints? Getting a bunch of stars now. Hey, 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 hey. Let's, let's finish this one. Let's make this one go to pro too. Two times the points. Let's do the freeze. Let's see what that does. Ooh. 
I almost clicked on that one. Yeah! Oh, did the- oh, the combo thing froze. That's awesome. Light up is for scenes that are dark or filtered. Oh, nice. Okay, I'll remember that. Nice! Okay, let's go. Enter the AA meeting. I thought she wasn't wearing anything for a second there because of her skirt's color. It's been hard. There's only so much that a person can handle, you know? It was... I missed it. What the? Megan Schmidt! She's supposed to be in the morgue! <gasps> Excuse me, miss. We were with the FBI. Can we ask you? Oh... What? What? <gasps> Chaser! Oh shit! Ah! Uh, I have to click it out of the way. Uh, uh, dodge! Oh god. Oh! I got the right one! Nyeh! Move it! Oh shit. Oh, that worked. I just clicked it open. Just massive strength. <gasps> Dale, is that you? I tried I tried to circle the building. Did you see her? Where did she... Hey, are you okay? You look shaken. I tried to grab her, but she got away. Threw me off balance, that's all. At least it looks like you got her pretty good, too. There's blood on the ground. Is there? Oh, she must have gotten a scratch from that pipe over there. Going to take a sample for DNA uh, DNA analysis. Then we need to talk to other people from that meeting. Sure you're alright? I'm fine. Lead the way. Ooh. So wait, this does this connect to the older cases? Like, because we did like... Dobby... Body doubles. Dobby doubles. Interesting. Whoa, what just happened? Is Megan in trouble? Megan is dead! <laughs> <laughs> we just need to ask a few questions. Hey, honey. Listen to the soundtrack. Huh? Nay. Well, she sure as hell didn't want to answer, Agents. I'm sorry, what was it about again? That's what we're trying to understand. So you know her? Megan? Sure, I mean, I don't know her. No know her. These meetings are called anonymous for a reason, right? But she's been coming here for a few months. Should I give you a moment? I just don't want it to interrupt anything. Oh. That's fine. There we go. Uh, tell us about her. What can you tell us? Well, she has a drinking problem. Well, duh. Can't really stay sober for more than a few days. Still, she's coming to the meeting, so that's a step in the right direction. Did you notice anything strange about her this past week? Well, yeah, I guess. She looked kind of deceived. But I assumed that she was having a breakdown. Do you know this man? Lives in an RV, three years sober. What about him? That's Pete. He's a regular. Real nice guy. A great sponsor, too. He missed the last meeting. Said he was feeling sick. Thank you, sir. You've been really helpful. Would you mind if we took take a look around? Well, I guess not. Everyone's already gone anyways. He kind of spooked them. So, Dale, what do you think? What the hell is going on with Megan Schmidt? What do you think? I need more information. She made a hasty exit, so maybe there's something here that she left behind. Let's look around. Ooh, 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 we got a new scene. Let's go. Mm, I'll use. I'll keep the boosters for like when it gets really hard. Oh, that's the angel. A boot print. A pretzel. Got it. There we go.
Isn't it Mulder and Scully? No. We found an article that said Mulder was dead. They found his dead body. But it might be a doppelganger. So we're not sure yet. I'm, I'm thinking they might show up later in the game. Because we have seen some stuff. Oh. Um. Out of my way! Stuff! I need this little book. Oh, I don't. I need this card. Okay. Let's see. I wonder if the, <clears throat> the clues are gonna show up in the game. I have like a top secret file with lots of omitted stuff. I have a, a newspaper article. I kind of want to read the whole thing, but it's a lot of text. Flu outbreak under control. Local doctor dies at his station, celebrated as hero and pioneer. I think this is later, because the preview is also like shows a lot of sick people. Then there's an excerpt from a transcript of witness interview conducted by agents Winter and Dale. I think that's later. And then there's an autopsy report of Peter Samuel Miller. Oh, that was Pete. That's the dude from the... Okay. And then there's another article that says gruesome discovery in Lexington. Oh, that's a... Uh... Okay, so this is from... Uh... This is the scene where we... This is the RV where we find the body. Doesn't, doesn't this look cool? I really like it. Peek inside the victim's home. A cozy home on wheels or a scene of a black cr bl blood chilling crime. It was a body and not just some sorry stiff with a knife wound. It was mutilated beyond recognition. It looked as if someone took parts from different people and then mashed, mashed those together. It wasn't even my shift really, they, they disclosed. But when I saw the look on duty's doctor's, duty doctor's face, I just knew I had to take a look, you know. There's even a crossword puzzle on the bottom that's like partly filled in. <laughs> okay. We conducted some additional tests to understand the nature of the disease. I'm afraid we have been wrong. It's not a disorder, it's a virus. Ooh. What are we talking about here? Is it infectious? It is highly infectious and absolutely deadly, so we have it now. Right now, we have no way of treating the virus. It spreads through direct and indirect contact, and then destroys the carrier in approximately 96 hours, which means that we're facing an epidemic, and it, turn, it, it might turn ugly real fast. Wait, this is impossible. How can this be? Right now, that doesn't matter. What you need to know is that the infection has three stages. When the final one comes, the damage becomes irreversible. Contact the CDC. They will arrive tomorrow. My own flight takes off in 15 minutes, so I'll be with you soon. In the meantime, I can't stress this enough. It is of the utmost importance that you find the source of the virus, patient zero. Just saw her. I think we just saw this patient zero. It's Megan Schmidt. Or at least someone who looks exactly like her. She's dead. I performed the DNA test myself. Well, I have a theory on that. You said that the virus causes uncontrollable changes to a human body, right? What if patient zero learned to control these changes? That way he could look like anyone, assume any identity. Finding him or her won't be easy. There is a theoretical poss- that- that is a theoretical possibility, I guess. But highly improbable. Just try to find her as soon as possible. I'll see you in an hour. Not that one. This is stuff I- oh, okay. I thought it was garbage. I don't think that this doctor cards, this doctor's card was in Megan Schmidt's purse by coincidence, Dale. We need to talk to Dr. Morty right now. You go ahead. I'll pick up Dr. Rivera at the airport and meet you in the hospital. Take care, agent. Okay. Did you find your sandwich? <laughs> Solve the crossword? Oh, I can? <gasps> really? Oh shit. No, I didn't. I didn't even try. Um, subs, I'll put it in Discord right now. Let me give me a sec, I'll take a picture. One sec. 
probably need to turn it. And I don't. Okay. Discord. General. No, I'll put it in games. Okay, I uploaded it right now. Um, let's see. A widespread infection. Eight. I I don't have I don't have a clue. Subject of a crime. Perpetrator? No, it's too long. Subject of a crime. An unforeseen mishap. Eight letters. Accident? <gasps> it's accident. Okay, so one down is excellent if anyone is uh, doing the puzzle. I think. That means... Oh, that's nothing. Okay. Matter with a definite chemical composition. What? Do you guys know? To injure severely. Eight letters. Seven down. A branch of medicine. I don't know. Okay, I'll leave that up to you guys. Because I, I don't know the answers right now. Poets use this word to refer to the sea. Four letters. How do poets refer to the sea? In four letters. Hey, Yambu! I can only think of sea and ocean. Waves? Doesn't fit. Okay, um, let's do the church two more times. What is this? Oh, this thing. Hey. Tide? <clears throat> Maybe. That would mean that say nation, five letters down, would end on a D. Think that fits? Wait, what? Oh, there. Oh, super tiny. Hearing aid. That's really big. <laughs> Again with the speaker. Pen. Glasses. Okay. Eight down state. Deep state. The answer is deep state. The name of the game. State. Yeah, deep state. It's deep state, isn't it? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That's you guys are so creative, holy shit. So much depth to this. Oh god. Oh, I hope I can make this. Set square? What does that mean? Uh puddle. Are these flowers? Yes. Oh, that thing. Okay. Is that called a set square? 
Yeah, me, same for me, Caitlin. I'm really bad at them. I want to be better, but... Welcome to Lexington, Dr. Rivera. You're just in time. The Doctor Who's cart we found in Megan Schmidt's bag agreed to talk to us. Speaking of... Oh, I thought somehow thought you were going to be a woman. Yes, agents? I've been told you wanted to see me. Hidetaka. Dr. Morty, we're with the FBI. This is Agent Dale and Dr. Rivera, and my name is... Yes, 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 I don't care. My time is precious, so stop wasting it. What is this about? Well, excuse you. Do you know this woman? Never seen her, that all? No, tell us about your research. Is this a joke? You know perfectly well that my research is classified. Despite my ard ardent objections, I might add. We are the FBI. Surely you don't think that some commercial secret you're protecting is beyond our clearance. Commercial? Who said anything about commercial? Working on a government grant for God's sake. For God's sake. My research belongs to Homeland Security. Homeland Security? Hmm. Why would the D DHS hire you of all people? I'll have you know that my work will very soon re revolutionize plastic and reconstructive surgery. Oh, I will help hundreds of disfigured soldiers. Your you caused the virus. It will change the world. If you had been if had been supposed to know that, you would have already known. I'm not saying another word. But doctor, this is an urgent matter. Lives might be. Then I suggest you go through the proper channels. This conversation is over, agents. You've wasted enough of my time already. Did I miss that resub dark? I'm not sure. Anyway, thanks. <laughs> We're at 312. Me. Dr. Morty leaves. Going through proper channels might take days, if not weeks. We don't have time, that kind of time. Every minute counts. What do you suggest, Doctor? I suggest that we obtain the information on, on Dr. Morty's research without his help, right now. Hmm? Do you have something in mind? Gaining access to his office would be the first step. We'll just have to improvise from there. I trust, I trust that you know what to do, agents. That's illegal! Oh, I'm level 5. Okay. Let's search for a key card. Um, power socket? Key card, maybe? Oh, no. No smoking. Smiley. Laundry hamper. Oxygen mask. No key card yet. Where is it? There. It's really big. <laughs> it was so big that I thought it was like a poster. <laughs> hey, baby. Oh, you can turn it for a bit if you want. I have a hot oh. water bottle. Oh. He wants the heater. <laughs> <coughs> Please, honey. I am streaming, you know. Okay, we have two stars, but I want to collect a bit more. Donkey! Wallet. Toy car. X-ray. A walker? Is this called a walker? Oh, okay. Banana! Pen holder. <laughs> Payphone. Hey, Cody. Another Cody. <laughs> this game is free to play. There are in-app purchases, though. How do hidden object gain in-app purchases work? Well, there's points you need to... Um, continue the story? Yeah, like there's points you need to gather to continue the story, and then those points you gather through hidden object screens, but you have to finish them in a certain time and with certain score and if you don't you don't get the points but you can also buy points i see i think that's how i understand it now because i have an account <laughs> with just so many points like more than i'll ever need so i don't have to buy anything let's expect his office we're in who knew trespassing could be so exciting <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts, Doctor. Time is short and we need our answers. Okay, let's see. Uh, we don't have a password yet. Locked. How about this thing? Oh, 
excellent. No, there, it was excellent. A break in two? Agents, you're full of surprises. Just don't tell my mom. <laughs> now if I were a narcissistic scientist, where would I hide my data? Under the trophy. Damn. Okay, but do we have the... Might help us with the password. Okay. Ooh. Ask me. Mask. <clears throat> Who knows what secrets this creep is hiding. Whatever they are, they aren't on his computer. It might, is there maybe some... Is there some CD or memory card around? Well... Patient data. Cool. Oh, the deaf is saying hi to you. Hello. He's in the he's in the chat. Or she. One more star. Okay, most of it is encoded, but if I understand correctly, Dr. Morty's work is indeed absolutely brilliant. He developed a new type of artificial skin that when complemented by complemented by injections of something called substance X can become programmable? Oh. A revolution in plastic surgery. So maybe they were like experimenting on people. An impeccable disguise for a spy or a perfect way to steal the identity of your victims. It shouldn't be possible and yet from what I've gathered, Dr. Morty has been experimenting on volunteers for almost two years now. Amazing. Can this artificial skin be the source of the virus? The skin itself? Impossible. But that substance X, there is no mention of what it actually is. I'm not sure that even Dr. Morty himself knows. Here's the volunteers list though. No mention of Megan Schmidt. What is this? What are you doing here? Mm, appeal to him. I'm trying to save lives, doctor. And since we've already gained access to your research, there's no reason for you to help, not to help us. This is unacceptable. I'm calling security. One of your patients caused deaths of at least two caused deaths of at least two people. Helping us catch this person is the only way you'll get rid of us. One of my patients? This is ridiculous. I Stop lying, you bastard. What have you done to these people? Whoa there, Dale. Easy. Sorry, doctor. It seems that my patient's having a rough day. Fine, I'll answer your questions. Just get out of my face. What exactly is substance X? You wouldn't understand even if I had weeks to explain it. Let's just say it is that its creator is a true genius. Sadly, I don't know his name. He is most likely forced into the same kind of moronic secrecy as I am. The DHS supplies supplies me with a small amount of substance every month. Can you describe in detail the exact effect of your experiments? What is there to tell? The results are self-explanatory. I take a broken body and make it whole again. Make us whole again. On the outside, that is. Can you can your inter can your invention be used to alter one's appearance? Well, yes, in theory. But why would anyone waste my technology on cosmetic surgery? It's designed to help people, not to stroke their ego. We are trying to stop an outbreak of a deadly virus. Do you think it could have originated in your lab? Preposterous! I don't think I don't work with infectious. I don't think. <laughs> I don't work with infectious agents. There's no way that my research could have compromised someone's safety. Have any of your volunteers been behaving strangely in the past month? As a matter of fact, yes. One of them stopped showing up completely. It's a bitter disappointment because he was showing promising results. Henry Malone. <laughs> it's a Malone! Inside a water Malone! I tried contacting him. I even dispatched an intern to his address. The house appeared to be foreclosed. Henry Malone? What can you tell us about him? Yes, doctor, tell us about him. He is an absolutely fascinating example of facial deformity. Ooh. Car crash, burns, scar tissue, facial fractures, a perfect specimen. And yet we've had trouble with him from the early days. Alco alcohol consumption, disgusting. I've almost had to disqualify him. So he's an alcoholic? I think we found our man. Have a nice day, doctor. Ooh. Okay, let me see, because he was in the case files. Malone. Edward Higgins. Peter Miller. Here he is. Henry Malone. 
Muscle injuries, full recovery unlikely. Preferred candidate for experimental treatment. Doctor something. I can't read the handwriting. Can't really show you guys properly, but oh there. That works. Henry Malone! Inside of water Malone! Multiple facial fractures, severe jaw fracture, severe burns, sternum fracture, diaphragm rupture, multiple tibia fractures. This dude was really hurt. Have you had any other injuries or illnesses before or after the accident to the same or similar parts of your body? No. Oh, Kimmy! Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you. We're just playing. A, we're we're actually playing like an X Files game, and I have like actual case files here. That's what I was doing. <laughs> hey, John! Holy shit! Twenty months. Oh, getting close to that two years. Um. So I was just reading. Um. So this is like a a dude that um. Uh, he put himself up as a volunteer to get his face redone. So he's like a test subject and I was just looking at his application form. Isn't it cool? Okay, we have zero stars so we need to get some more stars together. Yeah, I freaking love this. Um... So it's a hidden object game so you have to find objects. Um, it's a little bit different from the usual hidden object games I play, but it's very interesting so far because I love X-Files. What is this? A whiteboard? There. <laughs> okay, we got one star. Yeah, Exiles is great. Ooh, we got a key. What is it? Coffee and cookies. Nice. Thank you. Uh, we can talk to Rivera now. We need to find Henry Malone. Malone! <laughs> I can't read it normally. Right now. I don't know how, but he has to be patient zero. Well, it's not that easy. This is me, by the way. Just check the database and he's a ghost. No current address, no phone number, no credit cards. He's off the grid. You can completely customize your own character. How hard can it be to find a horribly disfigured man in Lexington? Ah, but you see, thanks to our genius Dr. Morty here, Henry Malone can look like anyone. He could be in this very room right now and we wouldn't know it. Yee! Sounds a little bit far-fetched to me. A plate-carrying, shape-shifting cripple? Damn, I need a drink. I thought you didn't drink. Anyway, we were, we were right about the AA. We need to talk to the chairman again. He has to know Malone. Good idea. I'll stay here and run some tests on the blood sample you've gathered. Then we will know for sure if Malone was indeed impersonating Megan Schmidt. Sounds like a plan, Doc. Call us as soon as you get the results. Let's go, Dale. Okay. The cases do get way longer. We're only halfway through this case now. Yeah. That's cool, though. Four hours! Oh my god. That's such a long wait. Agents, I've completed the blood analysis on the sample you found. And the results are a bit strange. There must be some mistake. I'll have to double check it and get back to you then. Shouldn't take long. Okay. We need more stars! I have theories. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's mirrored again. Ah! Uh, so weird. The fuck are the cats doing? Oh, I can't look at them. I should have used a booster. Oh no. Uh, what is this? Headphones? There. Oh god, Zard. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's a helmet. <sighs> there was a helmet. I can't find it. Oh, there. Is that the wallet? Yes. Okay. He. Okay. Um, let's talk to the chairman. Hey, you're back. Any news about Megan? 
Actually, we wanted to talk to you about another member of your meeting, Henry Malone. Do you know this man? Oh lord, yeah. Yes, I think that's Hank, except he doesn't have those horrible scars anymore. I didn't even know. What can you tell us about him? Well, I've already told everything to that other agent. <sighs> Ask anyway, I'm glad to help. Other agent? What other agent? That lady agent. Black hair, funny eyes, kinda lost. <laughs> oh, kinda scary. Why did I make lost of that? <laughs> kinda scary, to be honest. She wanted to know if Hank was close to anyone in the meeting. What did you tell her? Well, Hank's only ever spoken to Megan or Pete. Oh, what was the nature of his relationship with Megan? They became friends? Not the platonic kind, I mean. They've come together a few times and once I saw them leave together in their car. Pete is his sponsor. It's an important bond, you know. When it works, I mean. So yeah, they're pretty close. Sounds like these two are the best chance to find Malone. We'll have to search their homes again. Can you think of anything else? No, not really. Ah, wait a second. Hank dropped his wallet when he was here last time. It's in the lost and found bin, which is um somewhere around here. <laughs> People just lose everything. That's not a new thing. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's in the penthouse. Oh, there was another one. Um, maybe we should freeze the combo. Okay, this one's not gonna be very hard. Um, nice. Roomba! Did it. Her shirt is great? Of who? Oh, my shirt? The sweater? Hoodie? <laughs> Should we change outfits? Oh, we can do so much searching. Oh, comment on the clue. Dear Hank, I'm glad you're talking, taking care of yourself. You wrote that you're in the AA now. I'm proud of you. I know this wasn't exactly easy. I thought of you and prayed for you every day after we'd broken up. Despite everything, I will always love you, Hank, but I had to move on. I know you know that your accident had nothing to do with why I left. I left because of what came later. The drinking, the fights, the abuse. Your friend, Jessica. So the guy gets disfigured in an accident and loses his job in his house, and then his girlfriend leaves him. Harsh. Well, I mean, it sounds like she had every reason to leave. Maybe you should have been less of an asshole to her. <laughs> yeah. I mean, can you blame him? Anyway, he pulls himself together eventually, volunteers for the medical trials, starts going to AA, meets Megan. And kills her. She didn't do anything to deserve it, but the bastard killed her. I don't think he did. I think he liked her. Yeah, maybe it was an accident. But then the damned experiment backfires and Megan dies. Pete dies. So he's horrified, has nowhere to go. He panics. He assumes Megan's identity and goes into hiding in her apartment. We've ha we'd have met him if he hasn't, hadn't gone to the meeting. But now he knows that we're looking for him, so he's not coming back. It's a dead end again. Don't worry, Dale. We'll find him. Cool. But... <sighs> That must have something to do with the the doppelganger for Dr. whatever it was in the last case, right? I forgot his name already. The professor? Who was like, no, not me, the other me. I am a pro finder of things. Ay. That was fast. That was fast. I wonder if I actually look like shit or if the white balance is off. Maybe my nose is just red from the cold. Okay, let's see. Let's an anal analyze. Oh god. Oh god, this again. Um... William Shakespeare Temp Tempest? That one. Did it. I don't know what kind of eye he has. What? Oh, gamer! Thank you for the sub! Oh god. Uh, Which one is it? These are the same, so maybe one of these? gonna guess. I don't know. 
No, it's wrong. Fuck. Okay, that was it. It's not day. I think it's me. Hey, that was fast. Hey. Henry Malone is Caliban, Jessica Davis, and Miranda. So our guy was into theater? Would be very ironic, wouldn't it? I guess. Doesn't he look a bit taken with this Jessica on the photo? He's Caliban. Caliban always dreams about Miranda. Gee, Dale, you do know your Shakespeare, huh? I wouldn't have pegged you as a Tempest guy. Anyway, let's get back to work. I'm starting to like him more now that we know more about him. <laughs> let's see. Search the church again. Um, cow? Mm, fuck. Fuck. Oh, the lost and found box, right. I wonder what this is. I don't s Oh, it's there. Oh. There we go. Can't even spell suspicion correctly. <laughs> I'll join you, puppy. <laughs> Pro challenges. No! They're too hard. Ooh, someone was uh, expected to get busy tonight. There are no clues here, just some change in this photo. Girlfriend? Can I see that? Photo's old and worn. Must have a deep emotional connection attachment to it. Why else would he keep it? I guess he does. I'll ho I'll hold on to this in case it becomes relevant later. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we have one more star. So where's Henry Malone? He's obviously hiding and I have a feeling that it's not just because of us. What do you mean? Something's just not right. He develops this incredibly incredible ability, changes his appearance to conceal the scars, and then what? He hides this from everyone? I guess he was afraid of the truth coming to light. The DHS would have locked him in some secret lab for the rest of his days. If anything, he was acting smart. Okay, but then his friends are starting to get sick and die, and he still doesn't try to act Doctor try to contact Doctor Morty. Why? What is he afraid of? Maybe he's just a coward who thinks that, thinks that his hide is more important than someone's life. Or maybe something else is going on. We'll have to ask him when we find him. And our best shot is Jessica. Okay. Let her mention that she worked in a diner not far away from here. You're feeling hungry, Dale? Let's pay her a visit. Mmm. Okay. Uh, I don't want to do pro. Let's try this one. Let's use something. Oh... No. Let's do that one then. Oh, okay. It's not color-coded. That's nice. Mm, doggy! That was good. That was good. Ooh, new high score. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can... I want to unlock a new... Oh yeah, this might be a new location. Jessica Davis? We're with the FBI. I would like to talk to you about... I'd like to talk to you about an old friend, Henry Malone. Hank? Why would the FBI be interested in Hank? A victim of a crime. We suspect that he is a victim of a faulty med medical trial. People are dying and we need his help to stop it. Are you sure? Is he alright? He will be if we find him in time. We need you to answer our questions, Jessica. Sorry. Yes, of course. I'll do anything to help. How did the two of you meet? That was five years ago. We met at the auditions for a community theater play. We both love theater. Still do. 
Hank was a good looking guy, but he was also funny and kind. He was the kindest man I've ever met. We hit it off from the start. Started dating and moved in together. We were happy and I thought that that's it. That's how it's supposed to be until the accident. Why did you leave him? After the accident, things got rough. Hank got it was in constant pain and his face... Well, you know, he lost his job and the medical bills were crushing us. I thought that things would get better eventually, but they didn't. Hank started drinking and became mean. Even when he was sober, he was so angry. I tried, I really did, to stand by him. But one day I just couldn't take it anymore, so I left. That's really sad. Tell us about the accident. One day the cops knocked on my door. They said, we have some bad news, ma'am. And it was, it was like someone hit me in the stomach. When I got to the hospital, he was in surgery. One of the many, many to come. They didn't let me see him for a while. It was so horrible. I was so lost. I prayed that he would survive, and when he did, I felt elated. But he wasn't the same, and I don't mean his face. He changed. Maybe he was a different person. Are you in touch with him now? I haven't seen him for almost two years now, but he wrote me a letter a few months ago and I wrote back. Do you know where he is? His address? Place of employment? Yeah, he mentioned that he's living in a motel on the edge of the city, and that he works part-time at an industrial laundry. It's off the books, I think. Hmm. Can you give us an ex exact address? I can look it up. Just whatever trouble he's gotten himself into, please help him. He's a good man. Will we do everything we can? Jessica, don't concern yourself with Malone. He's a lost cause. You have to think about yourself now. He would have wanted that. Wow, Del, that's quite romantic. Where to first then? Motel or laundry? Let's split up. <gasps> I'll take the laundry and you go to the motel. Goodbye, Miss Davis. Take care of yourself. Ooh, shit. Motel! Search. Here we go. Six objects. Newspaper clipping. Paper scraps. Not that. Mm, cucumber. <laughs> Hat. Okay. Now let's see. How many points do we need? Uh, one star. Oh, analyze. Let's do that first. Oh, there's so many things. Earlier this morning, a truck heading lost control of the vehicle. Horrible collision. Local resident delivered to the hospital in critical condition. Just like that, huh? One moment you're young and happy, and then a drunk driver you've never met destroys it all. Suddenly you have nothing. No wonder Malone started drinking. Bad luck, I guess. Bad luck all around. Is there a thing on his... Is that... <laughs> Cosmic Possum enters lexicon. <laughs> Checking to see if there's... No, these newspaper clippings are more modern. Or later in the game. Later set, set later in the game. Okay. Let's see. We did a short post about the art off from this scene. Oh, cool. Hey, Mike. Mm, my God, they're all on pro now. It definitely is getting harder. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Links are. Uh, off limits. Um, I can post it, but you'll uh, you'll have to email it to me. That's a bra. I thought it was goggles. What? Oh, this. This is also pretty rough. That you have only one item you can find at the moment. There we go. Um, yeah, send it to me and I'll... Uh, I'll post it. Okay. There's a letter, another thing at my avatar, but I don't see where something is new. Should we change outfits? 
Ooh, I like that dark shirt. Let's go with the jacket. Hey, baby. I'm sorry, you can't be on my lap right now. I have case files. Yeah. Night, kid. See you later. Oh, God. Uh, ooh, this is a lot of stuff. Okay. Henry. Hmm. There we go. It all comes together. Oh. Email sent. Okay. Let me see. Yep, yeah, it's in. Oh, it is you, Brandon. Hey. Oh, no, oh, cat. <laughs> cat was like, out of the way, case files. I'm more important. Um, there it is. Let me see. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Nice. Awesome. Okay. There. Henry Malone, Employee of the Year 2007 for outstanding work ethics, enthusiasm, and candor. Seen it back at home, people who can't endure the pain of a loss, but who at the same time can't stop torturing themselves with it too. Just like that. Three quarters done, the case. Um, let's just keep doing this one, because this one's a little bit easier. Calendar. Scissors. Playing cards. Bracelet. Suitcase. Noodles! A receipt. Um, um, I don't know. Tissues. Stockings. Oh, Lolly! Holy shit! Thank you! Thank you for subbing on tier 2! That's so nice of you! Ah, fuck. Where is the thing? Oh, that is a receipt. Fuck. Oh, and these are credit cards. I thought they were envelopes. Okay. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I clicked replay. Whoops. Well, let's do it. I'm committed now. Milk? Milk? Where is the milk? Oh, that's milk. I thought that was a cleaning product. Handprint. Peanuts? Yeah, I did way better that time. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, I gotta put my phone down again, because holy shit. Lots of people talking. Distracting me from a real important case. This is Rivera. I wasn't able to contact Agent Dale, so I'm calling you. Yes, Doctor? I'm kind of in the middle of something. Triple check the blood that you found at the AA meeting. There's no doubt. It's Agent Dale's blood. Ooh. He got hurt? And he, hi he hid it from us. Don't know what that means. Just know something's wrong. <gasps> is he? Has he been replaced? Maybe we haven't been with Dr. Dale at all, because he was acting a bit strange. Maybe he's been a different guy all this time. Oh! Oh my god, that would be crazy! Okay, we need two stars. Theater. What the hell is this? Oh, the purse. Hmm. 
Mm, what's this? Coffee. What's this? Belt. Hair dryer? Um, what's this? There we go. New lockbox. He was in the very room. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> that's so cool. Can't open it. Oh, Thunder Squid. Hey, thank you for the raid. Thank you. Uh, we need one more. Let's do it. Twelve objects. We can do it. Oh, no. Mm. I saw those glasses before. Where'd they go? Is that cheese? Probably not. What is this? Fuck, I don't know what it is. Ugh. Oh, there it is. <sighs> it did clear the scene though. Does it still give me a star? doesn't. Well, let's try it again. Combo booster. Let's do it. Um, so many things to find. I'm doing well. Hey, that was way better. I did it! Complete challenge. Ah, uh, yeah. You get the star. We did it! <laughs> Husband's being silly. Blood trail leads to the bathroom. Dun dun dun! Locked. I need to get inside right now. Oh shit! Peep inside. Maybe there's no one there. <gasps> oh my god, Dale, stay with me. I'm going to get you to the hospital. Hee hee hee. That's awesome. Oh god, they're all on pro now. Well, let's do the church. We can keep trying at least. Lights up! Seems lit for 10 seconds. Let's do it. I can do it. As long as it's in color, it's not too bad. Uh. That doesn't exactly help. Oh god. Wait, where is the. I don't see it. It wasn't even there! How does that work? I don't really understand that one. Okay. Still, I did good. Let's go to the hospital. Oh! Cutscene! Oh. Oh. Lots of sick people. Got lots of hints? Oh, right, I do, yeah. <laughs> I'm just so stubborn, I don't want to use hints. Please hold on, sir. Someone call an orderly. I need help. Oh, how is he, doctor? He's banged up and has a severe concussion, but otherwise... Don't touch him! Why? High fever. 99% chance he's infected. Oh, so anyone whose identity he takes might get infected? 
that's the case, how long does he have? Don't know. A week? Day? Not enough data to say for sure. I think he's coming too. Where am I? Ooh, dude! You're in a hospital, Garrett. How are you feeling? Maria, what are you doing here? How long was I out? What do you remember? I was pursuing that woman, Megan Smith, and she ambushed me. Yeah, I think she hit me with a pipe. How can this be? That was half a day ago. Even before he met me at the airport. Must have been delirious. A woman was putting a gang in my mouth. But then she changed. She became me. It was like looking in the mirror. Oh! That was Henry Malone! Inside the water, Malone! He can transform his body thanks to DHS's secret research. He must have knocked you out and changed into your clothes. That bastard. He was under my nose the whole time, investigating himself, learning at my every move. God damn it. We still have to find him, Agent. The epidemic is spreading. If you take him alive, I might be able to develop a vaccine. Wait, but then why wouldn't Dale be like, I'll do the motel, and you search the other place? Because that's where Dale was hiding. How am I supposed to find him? He wouldn't have sent me to the motel if he hadn't been planning on running. He could be anywhere by now. Anyone. Hey, rookie. He took my phone. If he still has it, you can triangulate his position. That's worth a shot. Good idea, Dale. Oh, shit. Mm, God damn it. This is getting really hard. Time freeze. Oh, shit. Oh, so I have to use it here if I want to use it? Oh my god, this is so hard. Um, fire sprinkler... Oh, it's not that. <laughs> Freeze! Oh, I can't. Um... Ring binders. These? Fire sprinkler. Or oh, that? Um, is there blood? I don't know where there's blood. I mean, it's fucking green. Oh, it's like a blood bag. This. Calendar. I'm gonna go. Where are you gonna go? Record. Record what? Mama Mima. Oh, okay, again? Wow, busy. Mm, busy boy. No, Big Bash, don't leave me. Daddy was too close. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. Bye. We got a star. Let's do it. Wait, what? Oh, that was cool. Wait, how do I... Oh, I need multiple things. Okay. Bye, honey. He's at the airport. Oh shit! He's gonna run! <gasps> Fear anyone he touches leaves the state. God forbid the country. This epidemic will become pandemic. Oh shit! Like the board game! I can't be there in 20 minutes if I step on the gas. I better hurry. If he has my phone, he also has my gun. Don't take risks, partner. Absolutely, absolutely do take risks, agent. I need him alive. Make an effective vaccine. Right. I'll see what I can do, Dr. Rivera. Keep these people alive. Dale? You look like crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, level six. Nice. Okay, we need two more. Let's try. This is gonna be difficult. True color. Yes, please. Okay. That should make it more doable. Where's the tape? Where's the tape? Ah, tape. Whew. I like that one. True colors. Anything to keep Dale from smiling. <laughs> I'm always third. Okay, we need one more. Let's do it again. Ugh. Mmm. Maybe the freeze again? No, let's do. Oh, we can do multiple. Yeah, let's do it. Oh god, it's mirrored. Oh god, where, where, where are the, 
Cigarettes. I don't know. If you see the cigarettes, let me know. There they are. Now just the tie? That's what it is. Hint. There it is. Oh, it's a scarf. I see. <coughs> this should be a high score with the combo stuff. New high score. Yeah, second. Take that, Maria. Okay. Hey, kitty. Dr. Rivera, can I ask you something? Wait, didn't we have... We don't have time. Your work. Why become a pathologist? Hey, baby. You want to say hi? Come here. Jump. Oh. oh she wants to be picked up. Hey. No. Hey, you like that, don't you? <laughs> She's like, yes, this is what I wanted. You hey, booby. The truth is out there, quiet. A noble undertaking. I see what you did there. Really, why? Not a lot of options for a good education if you're from a poor family. I've decided that it would be a good idea to enlist in the army. There are other considerations too, of course, but I won't bore you with them. The gist of the story is that I became a combat medic in the early 2000s. Wait, that would... Yeah, after coming back from Iraq, well, it was hard to adjust. I had, I had a grant to continue my magical, medical education, so I did that. But being a medical doctor wasn't really for me. Not anymore. I got tired of the whole losing your patient thing. Yet, I still wanted to serve, so... So I thought, if your patient is really dead, there's no hassle. Plus, keeping them properly refrigerated is much easier than keeping them alive. <laughs> and here I am. Best decision of my life. Huh. Pray to God you never will. Damn. What's with the morbid jokes? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> You seem to have a particular se particularly dark sense of humor. Ah, Dad. Well, you know what they say about dark humor. It's like AIDS. Not everyone gets it. Sure. On the other hand, you might say that's that a good sense of humor is like a second leg. Not everyone has it. <laughs> What's worse than 10,000 dead babies nailed to a tree? What? You're a sick person, Agent. Let's forget it. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> Aren't you too young to be a senior medical examiner? Is that a compliment? I'm not trying- You're not trying to hit on me, are you, Agent? What if I am? No offense, you're not my type. Hmm. I like him emotionally cold and rigid. Flawed a little bit rotten on the inside. You're making a necrophilia joke, aren't you, Doctor? Necrophilia is awful. I mean all the awkward silence. <laughs> God, the dialogue is so clever at times. Okay. We need one star. Let's do the hospital. Um let's just do booster again? Let's do let's do all of them. I want a high score. And I'm gonna fail. I can't find a slipper! Why did it have to be a slipper? Fuck. There it is. Oh, now I see that it looks like blood. Yeah. Balloons. A blue... Oh, ribbon bowl? Ah, I see. Hospital gown. Backpack. Letter B? That was tiny. Laundry hamper. Eagle. What since when was that there? Okay, I just need to find the pills now. Oh, I would not have found that. Whew, I was looking for a bottle of pills. D 
Damn. That joke confirms this is the real Rivera. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Whoa, look at this! 900,000! Number one! <laughs> totally cheated with the multipliers. <laughs> okay. Elkhorn Airport, Kentucky. Attention, passengers to flight 58. Blah, 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 blah. I cannot be one of these people. I cannot read. He, he could be anyone, though. We need to find him. Think. Just call his name. He'll look around, maybe, if he's stupid enough. Fuck, we need two more stars. <laughs> this is getting really hard. True color. Yes, please. Okay. As long as I have true color. True color. I might be able to finish it. Uh, I can't find anything. I'm useless. Where, is, where the fuck is this one? Where is it? Oh, there. <gasps> yes. Found it. Okay. One more. Let's do this one. We haven't done this one in a long time. Mm, let's do that. Oh god! This face! What the fuck? Where the hell is that? Oh, here. Okay, creepy, creepy, creepy. We need a little umbrella. Oh, there, I got it. Uh, fuck, I've seen these. Yes. Okay. This is hard work. I'm getting tired. I'm really into the story, though. It's really good so far. Actual twists and turns. Tap on people to remove them. Out of my way! <gasps> oh, he's still- oh. Dropped a gun! Hands in the air! Oh shit! Oh god, we need another one. Uh, let's do it again. They won't do a green screen two times in a row, right? Okay. Uh, elephant. It's hard when it's just words. What the fuck is this? A trophy? I don't know. Trophy? Oh, trophy is missing a, an E. That explains it. A what? A what? A what now? Telescope. Oh! <gasps> you guys, you're messing with my brain. Oh no. This is really hard. What is this even? Oh, speaker! Oh my god. A seashell! Oh, I can't even. This is a puppy, but where the fuck is the puppy? Oh, it's on the pillow. <gasps> that was crazy! Oh my god, the stress is real. <sighs> this is getting really challenging. Nice. Persuade him to surrender. If you choose the correct clue, the line- what? The line will not be highlighted. Try to guess the line based on the character's background. Wait, what? I'm not really sure what that means. Holy crap! Nice to meet you again, Agent. You found me faster than I hoped. Shouldn't be surprised, really. You're so terribly smart. Drop the gun, Malone. I will shoot you. Can't do that, Agent. I'm sorry. Just let me go. I'll disappear. You'll never hear from me again. 
You know that you're too dangerous to let go, Malone. You're infectious. Okay. Remind him about Megan. I know you're not a bad guy, Henry. Think about what you were about what you were before all of this. Would that person let anyone die like Megan did? That person is dead, Agent. Now I'm trying just trying to survive. Megan wasn't my fault. I didn't know, but I do now. I'll be careful. Come on, Malone. I know that you want to live. Whatever Dr. Morty has done to you, we will reverse it. Dr. Morty? He's just a pawn. You don't know anything about what's going on. What, you think that what happened to me was a coincidence? Part of it, sure. They just wanted an infiltration technology. Spies that can look like anyone. But what they got was so much more. I am a biological weapon. What, you think the leper won't use the virus if I'm captured alive? You think this is bad? Wait till they weaponize it. I... I hope this is right. I know that it's not your fault, Henry. The accident, the experiments, you were just a bystander. But what happens now, it's on you. Help me, please. You can't help anyone, Agent. I'm sorry. There are only two ways this might end. You let me go or you kill me. I will not surrender. Don't do this, Malone. We can both walk out of your life. Shit. Jessica? Think about Jessica. She cares for you. Don't let her down. She's all I ever think about. That's why I have to disappear. As long as I exist, she's in danger. What if she's already sick? You've been too close to her. What if she's in the hospital right now, dying, screaming, her body? No! I didn't touch her! You're an expert on viral transmissions now, Henry. Do you even know how it spreads? How it works? What it does? I saw what it does! So you're going to let it happen to Jessica? Damn you! Give me the gun, Henry. No point. It's empty. I have no bullets left. Not even one for myself. Alright. I will. I arrested him! Oh? Oh no. No! I just did it! Ah, oh, fuck. That lady again. Everyone, remain calm and proceed to the nearest exit. The Department of Homeland Security has the situation under control. Shit. I convinced him. Stand down, agent. This man is property of the Department of Homeland Security. No, you can't let them take me alive. Lower your weapon, agent. We need to, we need him unharmed to develop a vaccine. She's lying. Just shoot me. No, we need you alive. That's true. Oh my god. Oh my god. What should we do? Well, we need two stars first, so... <laughs> you guys decide. <laughs> Collect two items with six... Okay. Well, we can do that if we do this. Oh god! Grapes. Cane. Hat. Hat, 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 hat. Um, necktie. Bunny. Banknote. What does it look like? Oh, that. Okay, that's banknote. Okay, I just thought. Money. Saucer. Alpha. A dove. Don't see a dove. See a bat. Oh god. Uh, bandages. Cloud? Where's the dove? That a dove? That d did not look like a dove to me. Okay. Oh no, I finished my orange juice. Empty. Oh, I did not make it? Shit. Well, let's do the hospital. True color. <laughs> I love true color. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, fuck. I don't see it. So hard to see. It's somewhere there. Yeah, okay. Whew. Used my hints for that one. Yeah, I think we need to keep him alive because we need that vaccine. So many people can die. 
if we don't do that. Uh, calendar. A dragon? What? There's a dragon in here? Oh. Didn't even see that. No, don't turn off the light. I'm just guessing where it was. God damn it. There was a belt here too, right? Wasn't it here? Fuck. Yeah, there- Ah, oh, it was there. I just couldn't see it. There go my hints. <laughs> okay. Okay. What are we gonna do? Yeah, our partner is infected. I wanna save him. <sighs> Keeping Henry alive will ensure that infected people get the cure in time, but at what cost? The virus will be turned into a devastating weapon. Killing Henry will ensure that the virus dies with him, but there will be no way to produce a cure to save everyone. People will die. I will not let people die. I'm sorry, dude. Situation contained. Proceeding to secure the target. Target secured and ready for extraction. Also, she is someone I don't want to mess with because she could just fire, get me fired, right? What will happen to him? None of your concern. It's my case! There's no case, agent. Never was. Do we understand each other? But the virus. You mean the flu outbreak? Sad business. A couple of people died of complications, but they were alcoholics, so who knows what actually happened. Screw you. Thank you for your service, Agent. I'll take it from here. God damn it. What about my partner, though? Shit. Let's see. Uh. Uh. Homemade pie! Jacket, microphone, cherry, grapes, hat, bat, shoe, speaker, and I'm lost. Tree? Restaurant. There. Whew! The song is making me want to watch X Files over again. Yeah. Well, we are actually, Jose. After the stream, but it's for subs, unfortunately. <laughs> We're watching like three episodes after this. Uh, let's go. See how Dale's doing. Did they give him the cure? Ugh. Ugh. Give me a thumbs up, Dale. <laughs> I see that the DHS has everything under control. Indeed. Have you played- and you have played your part. Without Henry Malone's blood, their vaccine could have been too weak. Oh, okay. Real heroes, aren't they? So I did get it. No one will ever know what- that it was their fault in the first place. They have misled me. The substance X, they said it was safe. What a fool I am. We can go public. No, we can't. Confisc they confiscate us everything. Years of work, decades of preparation, all for nothing. It's like my research never existed. I'm ruined. No one will ever- no one will believe a word I say. Surely there must be some evidence left. You don't get it. They're in control of everything, everyone. They're like, entropy. No one can stop entropy. Someone has to. You're a fool, agent, but I commend your bravery. Go home and forget about this, or they'll destroy you like they have destroyed me. Let them try. Not, not that easy to destroy a doctor. I hope you understand that I won't it won't stop here. I thank you for saving our lives, Agent. Although very soon we may both wish that you didn't. Goodbye, Doctor. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. Perhaps. Time is the only thing I have now. This is getting really hard. We're like on pro level for everything. Lights up. Got the money. Okay, quick. Why 
Wine stains. Oh, these? Oh, God, here we go. Fuck. I just can't see anything. <laughs> Cake? Speaker must... That was here. The trophy was here. The vase was here. I'm just doing it from memory. <laughs> Jesus. I have the last bit of evidence. Oh! You mean, like, literally? Evidence. Oh, look! It's- oh, fuck! That's so awesome! It's the actual business card from Dr. Marty. But it's it's green, so it's see-through now. But I got his business card. I got Peter Miller's body on a picture. I got the flask hidden in the Bible. And I got his, so, his Peter's badge. That's really cool. Is that enough evidence, though? Um, two bodies, high risk, rice spread contagion. Patient zero is Henry Malone. Achieved some form of control over the effects of the virus in his own body. Later located and detained in the airport. Antivirus vaccine shortly introduced. Yeah. So, do you guys think he has anything to do with what happened at the president's? Like, the dude that bled green, the double names and stuff. I'm such a believer. 10% of players said they joined the FBI to become strong. Oh, I'm the only one feeling weak. 88% of players willing to help <laughs> information illegally. <laughs> 40% of players tried to reason with Dr. Morty. 95 promised Jessica to help Henry. Oh, like, we're really nice people. 64% of players gave Henry Malone to Jane Doe. Because we need the antidote for our partner. Agent, I received your report, although it reads more like science fiction. What can you say for yourself? Did our best. Situations turned out to be much more dire than anyone had thought. We had to act fast and we did the best we could. The best you could? No arrest, no plausible explanation for the deaths you were sent to investigate, no evidence? With all due respect, sir, there is an explanation. Agent Dale and Dr. Rivera can confirm my findings. Agent Dale received head trauma and was incapacitated for the most of these events. Dr. Rivera doesn't have the qualifications of a field agent. It's just your word. <sighs> what about the virus? The virus killed two people and dozens more were infected, so it's just not, not just my word. You mean the flu outbreak? Oh my god, they covered everything up. Have you read the newspapers? It's all over the news, Agent. Don't know what to say, Agent. You were sent to your joke of a unit to cause less trouble, but somehow managed to do the opposite. Wait, couldn't they investigate um, or interrogate Dr. Mori? Can't he, like, um, back me up? Going to lock this report as far away as I can. You're dismissed. Hey, Dale, aren't you supposed to be on medical leave? Hey, I was, for a couple of hours. Then I got old. What am I supposed to do on leave anyway? True. I guess we've talked to Bowman. How'd it go? Exactly like you'd imagine. He's a, let's say, piece of work. It didn't bother me. You don't seem unbothered, partner. I'm not. I mean, it was crazy, Dale. This whole mess is just crazy. Yeah, it makes you wonder if perhaps the X-Files unit is not a joke after all. People died and no one gets punished. Where is the justice in that? It's not my fault. We'll have to answer for what they've done, but they won't, will they? It sounds like you're only punishing yourself, partner. You did good in Lexington. You saved lives. My life, too, by the way. That's what I did it for! You had to make a choice. A hard one. Can't tell if you chose right or wrong, but it wouldn't have had anyone make it. I wouldn't have had anyone make it but you. You're a decent person, Rookie. At the end of the day, that's all one can strive to be. Thank you. Regardless, say we deserve a little break. How about we go celebrate our first X-Files case? My treat. Craving a burger? 
Full of great ideas. Oh, shit! Uh, oh, shit! <gasps> Gap winter. On your knees, hands in the air. Dale, cuff him. Oh, shit. Who this? And he's gone. <gasps> Buddy, maybe the president wasn't a decoy, you're right. Holy fuck, maybe the president did die, and then the dude that we saw was a duplicate. <gasps> that could well be it. Okay, let's complete this case, and then uh, that's gonna be it for today. This was way longer, yeah, the third case than I thought it would be. I underestimated it. Cain. Read, Papa! Oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, alpha. A nest? Wait, what? Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, uh, so confusing. Red letter? Was that it? Serpent. Ah. Oh. No, that's not it. Shit. I can't read it. Oh, it is a red letter, but it's not like a letter, but an envelope letter. Okay. This one's not going so well. Wasn't that here? Huh. Okay. I can't do it in 10 seconds, though. Check it. What is this? Where is this? I can't do it. No, oh, I failed. It's too hard. Let's replay. Let's try again. Okay. Die. Mop. Fan. Sun. Keyboard. Flowers. Oh, that's not a calf? No. Necktie. Hat. Angel. Okay, this time I think I got it. Puppy, good night. See you later. This is really intense. You, I really feel hurried in finding the objects. That would be the only downside to so far for this game. It's kind of stressing me out, being like, oh, I need to find everything. Oh god. What is it even? A crack. Ah. Uh, X-ray. Ring binders. I'm trying to find a moon. There. Yogurt? Vacuum cleaner. Is that like the hand thing again? No. Oh god, this is hard. Paper cup. Comb. Um, calendar? Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Hard work. Did it. <laughs> Yatta! <laughs> Woohoo! We did it! Um, can I just leave, close the game here, Dev? And then um, I can download it and start playing next time. So we have like a clean cut for next time. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, that was intense. 
Should be able to. Okay. Yeah, because I feel like it's saved, like, regularly everywhere. So that's good. Okay, then we'll just leave it here. What do you guys think so far? Are you guys excited to continue it tomorrow? Finish it tomorrow? Those are going to be long cases, though. Yeah, it should be like a good three and a half hours, four hours, maybe. Awesome game. Yeah, it's been fun. It really has been fun, yeah. I only wish the hidden object scenes were not so stressful. I like it more when there's no timers, you know? <laughs> maybe when, uh, maybe if ever in the future they can do like a, um, like a, what, what did we call it? collector's edition for steam or something then uh, they can uh, do like a timer and no timer version all right hey thank you so much thank you for the sub we brought it back to 314 so we dropped very low today but we're climbing back up just means we had a really good day a month ago the art is really good yeah it's it's impressive uh, mods, if you could post the link again to the game. If anyone's interested, you can play it yourself too. It's free to play. Just in-game purchases. In-app purchases. Purchase off. Um, if you're on mobile, it'll lead you to mobile immediately. So, yeah, thank you. Oh, buddy, thank you. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, 10 a.m., 8 p.m. for you guys. Um, and we'll just try and finish the game. And then uh, I'll edit it together. For YouTube, release it as one long file. That's gonna be long. I'm glad you guys like it, and I will finish it tomorrow. Uh, I should run some credits. It's, oh, fuck! I accidentally clicked my own uh, Twitch page away. Should be fine though. Roll credits. There we go. Credit sent. There's the music. The music is so loud. Oh, Gam, thank you for the bits. Psycho, thank you for the donation. I can't read. I can't read it. Uh, credits. There you go. Ooh, thank you, mods. So many mods present today. Thank you. Thank you, everyone who followed. That's real nice of you. I'm glad you guys found me and found this interesting. Because we do a hidden object game once a month. Uh, first week of every month. Thank you, Lainan, Michelle, Savvy, Light, Oliago, Dark, John, Gamer, Lalit, and Wright for the subs and resubs. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove that uh, moderator thing because I don't think it's accurate. Sometimes I have I'm sure mods are in the chat and then it doesn't list them in the credits. So I'm gonna remove the moderator one in the credits. But thank you, everyone. Thank you, Cody, Buddy, Catilio, and Gam for the bits. Thank you, guys. Um, so that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And thank you, Dev, for being in it. Everyone, say thank you, Dev, because it's really great what you've been doing and helping us out. And uh, I'm glad you are here for the ride. So thank you, Dev. And that's it. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.